Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to my home studio and welcome to a to day two of a one day build. I seem to have I seem to have a habit of doing this to you, so well there. It is what it is. Welcome to the chaos. This This is gonna be a good day. And uh, I might finish the guitar today, I might not, I'm not gonna say anything at this stage. Now uh, this guitar is a baritone guitar. We designed it in a live stream uh, a few weeks ago now. It is being done entirely in aid of the British Red Cross DEC Ukraine appeal. Uh, unfortunately, I need to say straight at, at the off that uh, the British government has already reached its limit of money that it's going to be doubling. So unfortunately, that is not gonna be happening, but uh, all Super Chat revenue after YouTube's fees. YouTube are, Sneaky. Uh, YouTube are very sneaky. Essentially, they only allow you to officially uh, raise money for charities that are uh, based in the US, and uh, they then remove all the fees of the super chats, etc., uh, because they then get to claim that against their tax, basically, if I'm not much mistaken. Uh, but um, Yes, so all of the Super Chat revenue from today and from last week, which after fees last week raised 2,772 something? 2,775 pounds in Super Chats last, last week. Uh, and on top of that, this instrument is being raffled off and 90% uh, of all of the raffle money is going to the appeal. The, other 10% is also fees from the company that runs the international software and has got the licenses, etc. Now, the amazing thing is that that raffle has currently got about £10,500 before fees, so we're already over £11,000 or so raised before we even get to day two. It's incredible. You guys are incredible. Now, I will say from the off, if you want to send Super Chats, please feel free, but YouTube's fees are more. They take 30% off the top. Uh, Super Chats are cool, but it would be better if you um, if you raffled or even better if you donated direct to a charity. And I'm gonna be saying that uh, throughout this process. I like, I love being able to say, hey, we raised 11 grand or 15 grand or 20 grand or whatever it happens to be. But uh, if we can maximize it uh, by going direct, then please do. Um, either way, the guitar is, is done. Now, it's not done, it's, it's here. We've got progress to make. Uh, in the background, uh, Mrs. Bun, my wonderful wife, Tanya, is, in the, uh, is on the computer and uh, sitting there. How are you doing? Good. All good, okay. Taciturn as always. Uh, Tanya doesn't want to be on camera, which I fully understand. There are days or even weeks where I also kind of don't want to be on camera, but it is what it is. Uh, now, last week I was fully expecting to do this in one day. I've done it before. I've done it many times, actually, at least three. Uh, I got to the point at about seven o'clock last week where I started cutting an inlay and I started going blind. I, I couldn't, not blind. I started losing my focal point where I normally sit. And uh, that is a sign that uh, yeah, I'm too old for this shit. Anyway, uh, we're going to, uh, via Tanya, uh, answer as many questions as we can. All Super Chats absolutely will be read out and will be answered. And uh, if there are other general questions, we'll try and uh, try and get to them. I've been playing around. I've got some ideas on the inlay. Uh, we've run some tests and uh, well, it is what it is. Greetings. How many people do we have right at the beginning there, Tony? Uh, oh, current viewers, we're on 326. Already. Oh, yes. Hold on. That reminds me entirely. Now, uh, as I talk, I'm actually going to start declamping this. <sighs> I, this is going to be the last live stream on the main channel uh, that isn't a really, 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 really special, heavily hyped up live stream. The... the too many people dislike the fact that we're doing live streams and that they're not seeing a nice 20 minute or 40 minute 
guitar building video on their screens. We've lost over a thousand subscribers in the last month as a result of that. But uh, on top of that, the YouTube algorithm is heavily penalizing us. Now we do have the Crimson Guitars Extras channel. It has 10 and a half thousand subscribers. We, I will still be doing the exact same thing. I will still be doing live stream builds on the Extras channel every single week. And I think it's probably still going to be Mondays even. I don't know where to put this clamp. Let's just put it away, shall we? Uh, so, uh, so yeah, if you are not yet subscribed to the Crimson Guitars Extra channel, then please go and do that. And uh, yeah, that'll be good. Housekeeping out of the way. Do we have any uh, any questions or comments here, Tanya? Yeah, we are. Yeah. Um, so the big unit. Haha. <laughs> says hey Ben have a great day have a great build day sorry I have to watch the right we run later got a lecture soon you have a lecture involving uh, huge amounts of volts I seem to recall from last night's live stream uh, so yeah days later talking about electricity and uh, and health and safety with with large amounts of things that are going to kill you if you're not healthy and safe there was a sentence there. I, I, I sort of, yeah, move into uh, being able to actually talk. Okay, Bjorn has donated and he's got your back here. He says, we don't call a two hour mil movie filmed over three weeks a three week movie. <laughs> it's still a one day build for another 14 hours, plus more money for a good cause. Thank you very much. I, uh, the, the very first, it might even have been the very first series I did on YouTube. If you want to laugh, go back and watch that. It was called The 24 Hour Build, and I did it over a four or five month period. Um, it felt like, probably not quite that bad. But uh, yeah, it was, it was 24 hours of work, just not 24 hours of contiguous work. Um, so yeah, I agree. Whoop. Let's drop this. Okay, from Sweet Tea Guitars. Sweet Tea Guitars, you're the nicest guitar builder I know. And I know me. <laughs> Good luck today, my friends. I have to work, but I'll be checking in from time to time. Peace and love. Peace and love. Thank you very much, dear. So, uh, Sweet Tea's put in together a, a care package for me, including some quilted maple. And uh, on last night's stream, one of the entrants in GGBO mentioned that he was looking for some and couldn't find it in the UK because it was too expensive. And Sweet Tea uh, said that he was going to put in an extra, an extra top for this GGBO contestant. Was that a cat jumping on the I roof? I think there was a cat on the roof. Yeah. Okay, they always freak me out. <sighs> anyway, it's all good. It's all good. Okay. And he's donated and says good luck on day two of eight <laughs> with a smiley face. I think what we just need to come to the conclusion is that uh, this is day two of this build, but if you're interested, I will be live streaming builds pretty much forever. This this like this capacity uh, and your lack of faith is is slightly hurty, hurty. Oh my gosh, um, yeah. I think I've already built more guitars this year than I did last year. And we're in March, and it's because of the setup and because of the live streams and all that, and it's it's great fun. Okay, tidy up as you go. And while I'm putting clamps away, you can look at this. Enki, I really do need to Google your name. I'm fairly sure that that is a Babylonian god of something. Or am I just reading, remembering a Neil Stevenson book? I can try and Google it for you. Thank you very okay. much. Okay, Madam Coyote's workshop. He says, you inspired me. I will be getting my first kit this week and that will be my first guitar build. Hope to be doing scratch builds soon. Awesome. It's a, uh, it is a uh, foregone conclusion, <laughs> pretty much. Once you get in, that's it, you're in. Uh, and uh, yeah, enjoy. 
So the masking tape there was uh, burnished down with the clamps. Yep, the blue and yellow has worked. So that's quite cool. I'm happy with that. Uh, now, while making the while making the thumbnail for the edited video of last of well, part of last week's uh, live stream, uh, the initial I didn't like the initial one because it looked too much like the live stream's thumbnail. So I, at no notice, asked uh, Talitha and Bear to make another one and they inverted the blue and the yellow and uh, that insulted a few people. I apologize. Okay. The internet says Enki is the Sumerian god of water. Sumerian. Knowledge, crafts ah. and creation. That's it. It's knowledge. Um, so Enki, knowledge and it's a, I think a Neil Stevenson book. Oh, tell me which Neil Stevenson book it was. We're essentially... Here we go, somebody's already done it. He says, uh, yeah, Enki says, stole it from a Neil Stevenson, but Enki was Sumerian god of water, knowledge, crafts and creation. Well there done. We go. Which Neil Stevenson book? I need to read it again. Oh, no. um, it was, uh, they had a um, science fiction and uh, the... <sighs> yeah, they were basically hacking people's brains. Snow Crash. Snow Crash, that's it. Fantastic book. Fantastic book. Uh, so there we go. If you want to know what I listen to when I'm building guitars, it's it's podcasts or novels, and then sometimes music. Uh, I find it easier to concentrate when listening to a novel than to music, which is really weird. Uh, anyway, okay. So this this guitar body is, I mean, pretty much well on the way to being there. I need to sort out the bridge position, I need to sort out the neck pocket uh, and, and route out the humbuckers and all that. Uh, the neck is currently sitting at an unfretted state and an uninlaid state on top of that. And uh, we'll then after the inlay and the fretting we're going to have to um, cut away the excess and carve and do all that. Now I think that it would behoove us to crack on with the inlay because there's going to be a little bit of delay uh, involved in the, the way that we do it. Now last, last week I started cutting the inlay out of this section of, uh, of resin and uh, I'm not going to use that. Uh, another example of how tired I was. I immediately cut all the way through where I didn't want to cut. I just was not thinking straight. So I'm going to take this off and put it on a piece of piece of aluminium. Relatively thin, should cut quite easily. Obviously this is the trident of Ukraine and uh, now there are various different ways in which it was it has been drawn out and a lot of it does involve blue that's not actually big enough that piece the blue and yellow which is uh, no that piece is not big enough there we go. Let me just show you. <laughs> okay, here's what we're doing. So, Fimo. Fimo, Fimo. I call it Fimo, I'm always going to call it Fimo. Blue and yellow, I walked into the shop, grabbed that, and she said, what are you doing for the Ukraine? Which is great. Please tell me, the Ukraine I th it's it's just Ukraine, but my brain keeps on defaulting to say the Ukraine. It's like saying the Balkans, which is also, and it's all politicized now. So I really need to actually be careful what I say. Please let me know in the in the chat what I'm supposed to say. 
Uh, anyway, what, what I did uh, yesterday, got that, ran a few tests, and uh, inside of the aluminium, you put it in the oven at 130 degrees, and uh, you, you cook it off. And that's, that's where we ended up. Uh, and yeah, it, it works nicely. So I'm going to play with this and maybe try and pop this one out and have the Crimson logo a little bit later. What I'm going to have to do is file away the excess. Bill Ronan has said just Ukraine. What I really want to know is why I keep on saying the Ukraine. Where am I getting that from? I have heard it a few times. I, yeah. I, I don't know the origin of that. Anyway, so that's the plan. I'm going to do that and see if I can pop that inlay out. If I can't, I'll cut around potentially. This is sounding like a 20 day build, isn't it? Um, and we don't, <laughs> we don't want to do that. Anyway, I'm going to cut a section out of this large chunk. So it's thicker than I really want it to be. Actually, let's hold that up to the light. And that gives me a nice straight edge for one of the edges. And then we're going to cut this shield out and then cut the internals out. Now, It would be easier if I marked it directly onto, onto the aluminium or scribed it onto the aluminium. And then I can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to cut the inside pieces out first and go from there. And then the plan is I'm going to fill all of these cavities with the yellow and the blue. Good time for a super chat. Good time for, yeah, while I'm doing this actually, just uh, keep them coming. Okay, uh, Terry Love says, excuses, Terry. excuses, your <laughs> fan gang are making excuses for you. I love it. Uh, yeah, it, well, <laughs> there's nothing to say. And uh, Terry, so for those who don't know, in one of my first live streams, I, I decided to do the <sighs> wow the Boba Fred guitar I think it was I'm already losing track and I put Terry in a I think it was a three minute timeout or something like that where he wasn't allowed to comment simply because he didn't believe on day one that I'd be able to do it and that build then went on and carried on for ten whole days uh, and uh, so Terry is, you know how Kings of Yore had a, uh, had a fool who would, uh, you know, who was allowed to a certain extent to poke fun at the nobility and make, just remind them that they were human. Terry is, uh, I wouldn't quite call him a fool, but he is, his, his function is to take the piss out of me, pretty much. That's about right, isn't it, Daniel? I'm staying out of it. Ha! <laughs> okay. Um, super chat from Doug Huff. Doug. He says, back again. Good luck, Mr. Bun. Thank also, you. Did I miss the backpack guitar from the fence post? No. So this is just a perfect example of my complete and utter lack of ability to think ahead and plan. Uh, I... Wow. So the Boba Fret guitar was a reaction to hitting 300,000 subscribers. And I wanted to do a one-day build and then raffle that off to celebrate um, hitting 300,000 subscribers. That build was happening at the same time as 
<sighs> at the same time as we were moving the vintage tool shop into Crimson Guitars, which meant that basically I was utterly screwed for time. I just ran out of time. So what was supposed to be a one day build turned into turned into 10 or, well, it was 10. And um, the hand tool only build, which is that fence post one, that got sidelined. Uh, I've also been working on my daughter's guitar. So at that point we had three projects and a major, major move uh, in progress. Now the move has is, is all pretty much done and Crimson is well on the way to recovery from losing a month of everybody's time doing that. Uh, we've also taken on new staff for that matter. And uh, Jasmine's guitar is almost finished. And, well, this guitar is almost finished. But uh, yeah, basically I'm going back to the hand tool only build uh, as of next week. And I can't wait. Okay, I think I'm double cutting. Um, I've already marked that out. Important questions just popped up here. Okay. He says, is this is Bartissimo? Yep, Bartissimo, hey. Okay. Uh, is there a closing date to enter uh, 2022's GGBO community build category? Uh, there will be a closing date to enter pretty much all categories. Now the scratch build is going to be uh, probably two to three months before the the end date because most people wouldn't be able to build two. Let's say two months. Uh, the kit build, somebody who really wants to could do it part time uh, in a month, so that will be about a month before the build. Uh, the community build will be closing, or entries will be closing at the same sort of time, about a month before the end. Now, um, essentially that is to give people the time to actually build something. Uh, and the other one is that uh, we don't want people joining in as a community build thinking they're going to be able to vote for, uh, for themselves or, or for somebody else without actually doing a build. Um, there are... Uh, this is something that the community have been talking about a lot, basically. There are people who, you know, want to win at all costs, uh, including being dodgy. So, oh, I'll concentrate. So, yeah, um, the yeah community builders will not actually have a vote unless we see a finished, unless we see that they are actually building a guitar in the community section and there we go look at that who needs a laser cutter we, uh, we, we, we will all sell do. yours then shall we shush <laughs> <laughs> we all need laser cutters okay so that's yeah that's worked out quite nicely i can see uh yeah I'm going to tidy it up a little bit. Where I had already cut last week, my lines aren't quite as good, as nice as I would like. So, let's do it. Uh, if you have any questions that are specifically guitar building as well, in times like this, I'm more than happy to uh, to answer. Uh, it depends on how, how fraught this goes. I'm, I'm actively trying to chill out. Actively trying to chill out today. Time for a super chat? Yeah. Okay, Marsha Levine. Marsha. Uh, she says, when Ukraine was still a part of the old Soviet Union, the geographic area was referred to as the Ukraine. There we go. So that's why I shouldn't actually be saying the Ukraine at all, because that harkens back to... Yes, yeah, she says, but was shown on maps as part of Russia itself. And she says, good yeah. morning. Good morning. Thank you for that. I, I knew... 
I knew that it was going to be something like that, and I wanted to avoid, well, offence and ignorance. Hashtag always be learning. So that's... Yeah, that's the line that I messed up already. This isn't going to be perfect, this is going to be a handmade thing. And that, that's absolutely fine. All right, a little bit of chalk. If you're struggling to see these things, this isn't chalk, this is wax. What do you want about that? With a side benefit that uh, that's going to lubricate the uh, saw blade and make it cut easier. Dropping the knowledge bombs all the time. Applause. There we go. Okay. Cool. Feed me questions. Well, uh, so Robert R has asked about past makes. We saw a few comments about oh. that before we started the stream. Yep. Um, and yeah, we're... we're we both we, actually are uh, fans we, of his channel. We like his stuff. Yeah. I've forgotten what the... the he does the Japanese... Kumiko, was it called? That's, that sounds about right, yes. Yeah, he, he did the Kumiko. Um, one of my favourite videos of his of recent times was uh, making... Wow, I don't have one here. Uh, I... Rosewood set square, where it's got the sort of florally kind of shape that locks it together. Um, you can drill amazing shaped holes to do inlays with. And uh, it was... Well, if you're on YouTube and you're interested in making, you've probably seen it already. Anyway. So yeah, Talitha, uh, Talitha. Uh, Tanya has already sent a message to uh, to Tom to ask him to get in touch with Pathmates to see if he'd be interested in, in entering. This is thicker material than I wanted to work with. It's going to take a little while, people. When this blade breaks, I'll swap over to a thicker one. Oh, feel that. So the blade is getting stuck. Yeah. So yeah, the blade got stuck, the aluminium uh, bound, and uh, I need more lubrication and also a chunkier blade. Okay, talk to me. Yep, uh, Michael Alexander's donated and just says thank you. Thank you very much, Michael. We, we appreciate you. Where is the... Uh, uh, yeah, where is the super chat uh, at all so far? Uh, total uh, 51.38. Okay, so, uh, oh, there we go. So this is a, these are three slash O blades, slightly coarser. The four O's are what I was using before, if I'm right, yeah. And I do have even even coarser than this if necessary. So we'll see. People said I'm a little bit quiet. I've just turned my mic up a little bit, so 
If you are having trouble hearing me, please let me know in the comments. Saw blades. Don't skimp on saw blades. Seriously. And then I've got some of this amazing bow lube developed by Boeing. <laughs> um, I got this through the vintage tool shop at some point. It's probably just a microcrystalline wax or something, but uh, yeah, I like it. So we go. There we go. I'm not putting very much pressure on the blade. I'm not pushing forward very much. Um, it is truly the old adage, let the tool do the work. I'm taking bets on how many blades you're going to get through. Yeah, for the whole inlay, I'd probably say somewhere around about four or five. Um, and I hope it's not much more than that because I don't have that many in that bag. The lube is certainly helping though. And this blade is a little bit less delicate than the first one. The issue is also that the, um, is that the aluminium is not the best grade of aluminium. And it's, yeah, doesn't feel ideal. I also don't have one of those adjustable uh, saws where you can uh, use broken blades. I should probably get one of those. One, two, three, four, five. I've only got five more of these blades here. I do have a pack up in the house somewhere. You've probably oh. seen them somewhere. <laughs> Super chat here from Terry Love. Terry. And he says, seriously, Ben, don't rush too much. Do it right. Yeah. He says, I'll give this good cause, uh, hold on. I'll give this good cause build a bit of leeway, but I sometimes can't help the sarcastic comments. <laughs> oh, no, I love, I love the sarcastic comments. I've my life for decades. You live with a sarcastic person, so. I, I very much do. I told them, what was your, uh, the other day? So our daughter is, well, she's a typical uh, teenager and we found, she, she has a, just plates and bowls and cups and crisp packets and all sorts of stuff. And you had a conversation with her and said, look, you need to. Oh, I said she needs, she could really use a dumb waiter. And I said, maybe we could build it out the window, but. If I put a dinner on it, it might get blown away, and we we're just joking about that. Yeah. And then five minutes later, you came downstairs helping her carry her plates, and I was like, "There you go, you got yourself a dumb waiter." <laughs> it's just the, the setup was. Yeah. It was perfect. Yeah. You and Terry would get along quite well, I think. Attempt fate, let's move the camera. Okay, super chat here from John Drake. John. 
He says, hello Ben and Tanya, Hi. so happy to catch a live stream. Thank you for the wonderful content. It's an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for your support. <coughs> And don't forget that from next week, it's going to be over on the Crimson Guitars Extras channel. So please, um, yeah, please go and subscribe to that and we will uh, hopefully see you there. Chunky. All right, so while it's in this stage, I'm going to just do a little bit of, little bit of filing. is not currently focused properly. There we go. How's that? So just tidying up the outline. Jewelers, jewelers tend to work this way, which feels a bit foreign to me, but uh, it's interesting nonetheless. Quite centered. Okay. Hmm. I need the camera. Why did I need the camera? Focus. There we go. So at this stage, it's a case of drilling a few holes so that I can access it. But uh, what I need to do is just cut away the entirety of these sections. I must not forget to save these inside pieces. That's going to be somewhat problematic. Uh, thinking quickly, what I'm going to have to do is cut the whole thing out, uh, save the inside pieces, glue this onto a backing plate, a piece of paper would do, something like that, and then glue those in so that everything is right, and then fill it with the FIMO. So of course everything is getting more and more complicated. That's uh, just the way, <laughs> the way of my life, isn't it? I didn't want to fit there. All right, entertain me with. Okay, here we go. Super chat from Andreas Savhammer. Andreas. Uh, he says, we still make guitars in more or less the 50s engineering tradition. True. What would be the greatest improvement to hardware or electronics? if we used modern day tech? Uh, okay, so... <clears throat> Hardware wise, I don't think other than improving the looks, I don't think functionally there's much that can be improved. Um, We have different machining techniques. We have different ways of, of, of actually making, for example, a saddle or a bridge. But in general, the functionality of that is the same, whichever method you use to make it. Electronics now, that's a big thing. We're still using switches from essentially vintage telephone systems and things like that, which are so obsolete. Uh, there's currently an issue with um, uh, tube amps 
uh, <laughs> where uh, apparently we're not going to be able to get uh, tubes anymore. So yeah, there's all sorts of these outdated things that we like and love that are not required. Modern uh, switches are incredible. Uh, noiseless, frictionless, programmable, but not analog. And we, we, we as guitarists tend to like analog. I love the idea of magnetic switches where there isn't an actual physical connection. It's tiny little magnets inside of a vacuum and there's, there's no clunk, 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 clunk noise as, you, as you're doing it. <sighs> but materials technology is, is also something that we need to bear in mind. So 3D printing, 3D printing to make guitars, really interesting. We can create something that is functionally exactly the same as wood with the, the grain etc that we want while yeah not having to cut down trees okay now i need to remember that i want to save these middle sections so i'm going to be very careful with them and you can keep on just keep the questions coming for now don't you Okay. This is going to get boring oh, otherwise. Yeah. Owen, Owen Kelly says, no question, just thanks for another great stream and maximum respect for helping everyone in Ukraine. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Terry Love says, question, do mo modern pickups use neodymium magnets? <laughs> um, some do, some don't, most don't, um, because most modern pickups are just recreations of um, the vintage 59s, uh, PAS, etc. But um, but yeah, there are some pickups that do. It depends on what the pickup maker is after. I we have we've used them in the past, uh, actually quite recently. Uh, if you watched uh, if you watched the Nebula build, they were I'm pretty sure neodymium or neodymium uh, magnets in in the custom pickup we made for that. Okay, Super Chapman Gody the Roadie. Gody! says, hardware improvements would have to be Evertune and Electrics. And it would be Fishman. I don't think anything has come close to being more modern. Okay, so Evertune is great. I haven't physically used one, even though I do have an 8-string Evertune bridge that I need to use. Um, concentrate on not breaking this blade. Uh, so, so yeah, Evertune is an option. Uh, it's overly complex in my opinion, but uh, it really does what it says it does, and that's quite impressive. But yes, electronics is the biggest issue. Okay, so remember. So I'm cutting on the outside line of the internal sections that I wanted to keep. Uh, yes, that does work. I don't like, uh, I don't like the feel of WD-40. Um, this, this lube here is, uh, it's nice and dry. Which, as I say, it sounds a bit weird. Oh, 
right. I also need to make absolutely certain to hold the blade perpendicular to the piece. And look at that, I remembered the word perpendicular, and I think I even used it correctly. Sorry, Base 5 Basic says uh, Illumitone pickups from the lace are pretty modern. They are pretty modern um, and pretty incredible as well. So there's a lot less wire in them. And uh, yeah, the whole way they work is just uh, mind blowingly cool. Relish guitars are doing some of the most innovative things in terms of building electronics. Okay. Sliding LED pickup switcher. That sounds cool. I need to check them out. I'll take a photo of that one, shall I? Thank you, yeah, please. So this is a little bit fiddly, but um, in reality, process is quite easy. Guitar building question from Joe Styles. Joe. I have kind of a weird question. Mm, I have the best sort. bolt on neck guitar. I yeah. was wondering if I could glue the neck on and make it a set. Absolutely. Uh, not weird at all. I think we've all done it. And if we haven't, we lack imagination. Don't lose that piece. Okay. Uh, yeah, basically it's functionally the same. There's, there's no reason why not to. The size of the um, the size of the neck pocket is perfect, etc. Just, uh, yeah, make it so. Okay, super chat from Terry Love. Terry. Question. Is asking what would be the best modernization for guitars a bit like... How should e modernize violins and or lutes, etc.? How should we? Um, to a certain extent, yeah. It's it's it's. So essentially, you look at uh, Ken Parker and what he did with the Parker Fly. Um, he he tried. To monetize, uh, modernize what he was doing, and uh, he created an instrument that was nice and light, and that was great, with all sorts of great access, uh, except for the fact that the uh, the back car, for me at least, digs into my chest plate here. Yeah, my chest plate. I always wear armor. Um, it's the uh, yeah, the puppies worry me. Um, but he also decided to try and be clever with the with the fretboard. So he he made carbon fibre fretboards, and then realised that by cutting the fret slots into the carbon fibre, I'm, I'm assuming this is the 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 way this thought went. By cutting the slots into the carbon fibre, you then reducing the strength that you've just created and as a result of that he didn't want to 
Uh, he didn't want to break his blade. Ah, oh, there we go. He didn't want to cut those fret slots, so he completely redesigned the way that frets work in a guitar, i.e. I don't have a tang. He, he created these beautiful frets that uh, have two little uh, ridges along the bottom that fit into a slot which locate fit into two little dents that locate them and then the frets are glued on. The problem is the glue always fails. So modernize, 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 fail, go back to normal frets because actually the problem he was trying to solve wasn't really a problem. Um, <clears throat> so yeah it's, it's a difficult one. in my opinion. The real question is, do we need to modernize guitars? There's no real need to. Uh, I don't know. There's definitely new materials we could play with, that's for sure. Uh, after I've been reading through the chat here, I made an error with, <laughs> I think it's base six, base six. Base six, base six, yeah. So yeah, I mean, sorry for that error. Um, and I think the problem with sometimes they can't hear me because I'm trying to get close enough to read. I think I need my glasses on, really. Okay. Because uh, I'm trying to get because my mic's up above me, and when I go to read the chat. Okay, we can absolutely move that microphone. It might if you be better want. in front of me here. From. Okay. Well, it's. Uh, I actually quite fancy. I quite fancy doing something else just for a second. Anyway. Your fingers. So. Uh, Could it be? Here, maybe? Uh, if you just mute it entirely. Yeah, turn down. Okay. So we've got the... Uh, we've got this microphone on a beautiful little clampy doohickey thing. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to stick this onto the tailstock of the Myford lathe, which is right in front of Tanya. And make that happen, and it's not good permanently, but it will certainly do uh, for now. All right, you get your volume back up and uh, see how that goes. Talk. Hello. <laughs> that didn't take as long as I'd hoped. We're back. Let's get some pretty shots with camera three, shall we? So this reminds me, we are in the process of releasing some interesting tools for for people who want to do inlays, um, but don't want to spend as much time as I do on them. And uh, let's just grab them for you quickly. Just for fun and to digress. Uh, so this is a side dot marking jig, which is now, uh, or, or will soon be available. But uh, I've got some uh, templates for traditional inlays. But we've also manufactured a guide, a base with a guide brush. So you just run your router inside that and it'll cut the slots to the exact size that you want. This is, this would have made my life so, so much easier. And we're also uh, just doing standard size templates for you. Uh, now, where are we? We're coming up on an hour. So we'll do a recap in a bit, but for now it's it's question time. Okay, um, one down.
I'm cutting in a slot. Ian Jackson says, do we need more computerization and MIDI equipment in guitars these days or less? Oh, fighting talk. <sighs> um, MIDI, less, in my opinion. Uh, as a, as a player I don't see the point in using my guitar as a keyboard essentially because that's what keyboards are good at. Uh, there will always be a place and there will always be one or two uh, musicians. You know I, I build Robert Fripp's uh, signature guitar and uh, that has MIDI and all that but most guitarists don't want that and, and, and can't utilize it uh, effectively. Uh, in the building of guitars, CNC has meant that most builders, even hobbyists, can build very, very accurate reproductions of what they want to build relatively rapidly. And it gives them time to, away from the, the scut work of handling routers, etc., and more time for inlays and the final finish and the setup and the fret work and you know, all of that. So, yeah. Even if you're using CNC machines to build a guitar, there is a hell of a lot of handwork. All the CNC does is replace is uh, is replace the, the very basic, basic, unskilled, relatively unskilled work. Matt Barmer has a question about the stunning stains. Okay. Uh, would you say amber stunning stains make a good vintage maple, maple neck colour, or would it need mixing with brown? Uh, yeah, amber. <laughs> amber is one of my favourite colours. Uh, but again, your idea of what a good vintage maple neck looks like, and mine is not necessarily exactly the same so uh, they do mix very well together and you do need to run run tests before you finalize this blade is starting to feel a bit weird so when i'm turning around i'm actually pulling back on the saw so the teeth aren't cutting i'm pulling it against the back of the blade. Come on, let me see what I'm doing. We've had a very generous super chat from Terry Love. Terry. He says, this is tame, let's kick it up a notch. And how many raffle ticks have been sold? Um, tame, kick it up a notch. Tony could probably sit there throwing, I don't know, spit wads at me or something. I, oh, yeah, yeah. You could, you could actually probably stick stuff to my head if you really tried. Um, but please don't do that. Uh, yeah, how many, how many raffle tickets have sold? So essentially this morning it was... Um, uh, okay, that had something else written on. This morning we started with £10,500 worth of uh, uh, raffle tickets sold and last week's Super Chat was 2750 basically, wasn't it? I think I rounded up a, a little bit on that. No, 2775 75 yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, so today we're currently sitting at raffle tickets of? Raffle tickets, so um, £10,660. Okay, so that's uh, slowly growing, and ah, I, I did need to say this at the beginning during the housekeeping. Um, I am fully aware that most of you are the same people who were watching at this time last week, and you've already donated. Please don't feel like I'm pressuring you into, into giving money that you've already given. This, is, this was never meant to be day two. The more we raise, the better, of course. 
but at this point for me it's about the guitar building and anything extra that we get is is a bonus um it's yeah. You also mentioned that YouTube's taking a cut, so if people want to donate directly, yeah. uh, that may be the best course of action. Yeah, donate directly or donate through buying more raffle tickets and you might end up winning the uh, winning the instrument um, because the raffle ticket takes less of a less of a cut of the whole thing. But uh, yeah, please don't feel pressured. I know that you guys uh, were around last week because it's the same people watching and uh, You've already donated, so yeah, it's uh, it's all good. Um, now we've got two more sections to cut out from the middle. We're on blade number three. Let's uh, let's cut. And yeah, just keep the questions coming on. Uh, okay, yeah, super chat from David Lucia or. Sounds right to me. Yeah. And says, ben, what is your grail watch? We're going to watch chat. <laughs> and do you have a watch in your collection you would never sell? Uh, I do actually. Uh, so, ah, wrong camera. Hi. Uh, grail watch. Look, I could turn around and say, hey, Royal Oak. Uh, and it's not because it's so hard to get, it's because I really, 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 really like the look of it and the bracelet and, and all that jazz. Um, that would be, that would be a fairly prosaic answer. Um, I would have to say that you're distracting me to make me break, break blades, aren't you? I haven't done it yet, but that's what's happening. Um, I would say an Alang and Suna data graph, um, maybe even Alang and Suna split second chronograph of some sort. I don't have all of the, the, the numbers and the, and the model names and all that. I apps, their, their work is incredible. And if I sold every single watch I have and got one of those, I'd probably be happy, but I wouldn't be able to wear it in the workshop. Um, now I have, I have more than one watch that I don't want to sell. Um, the, um, but the best one, the best story at least, is uh, years ago now when I was first um, able to even consider buying uh, luxury watches that, you know, in reality we all know are not really worth having in the first place. Um, I was in a shop with my son, who was four or five at the time, and uh, at his eye level was a ceramic, yeah, a ceramic Tudor Black Bay, a uh, Tudor Fast Rider chronograph, black and red, absolutely gorgeous, and this is right at his eye line, and he's in a shop full of these things, and he fell in love with that, that watch and asked me to buy it, and asked me to buy it. Buy me this watch, Daddy, buy me this watch, Daddy. Um, we went to a different shop where they also had one of those, secondhand. <coughs> and he remembered a couple of days later, and he remembered, he's like, there's my watch at this, in this other shop in a different city. And uh, Tanya and I happened to go back to that shop about two weeks later. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we were in, in, in Bristol a lot at that point. And uh, I sat down, asked my AD about, about this watch, and as I was trying it on, he went, oh, it's just been reduced by 50%. And Tanya was sitting there next to me, she said, well, you have to buy it then. And uh, this is about two or three weeks since the five or six year old child had seen that watch. And uh, I walked into the house that night with it on and he pretty much immediately spotted it. And he was like, oh, you bought my watch, you bought my watch. And he's bouncing around doing this. And I was like, yes, it's your watch, but only when you're old enough. So uh, that is one that's in the safe. And I, I wear it a lot, but it's a ceramic watch and it's never gonna get scratched. It's always gonna look new apart from the strap. And, uh, and it's his watch when he grows up. Uh, so there we go. Anyway, let's move on because uh, most people in the guitar, most people don't like talking about watches, do they? 
Are they taking the piss out of me? No, no, no. They're talking what? about themselves a lot. Um, but maybe that will be further down the line. I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. Um, but yeah, seriously, luxury watches are now. If you can get a, a Rolex at retail or something like that, fantastic, excellent, excellent uh, investment. But in reality, I've got 100 quid digital watches that tell better time. They just don't make me feel quite the same. Terry? He says, my stupid watch purchase back in the 1990s is a Breitling Super Ocean. Oh, I love them. Water resistance to a thousand meters. Says the most it's had is a splash when I wash my hands. <laughs> yeah, but you're still wearing it after 10 years. The, the Breitling Super Ocean is a lovely watch. question from Matthew Grittins. Matthew. When I use the penetrating guitar finishing oil, no matter how much I tried to rub the excess off, it stayed slightly sticky. Do you have any solutions to that? Uh, it really shouldn't. Sorry, let me just find my corner. There's my corner. What are you looking at? There we go. You're looking at that. So the solution really is that you have to, have to, have to rub it back. And uh, it's at this point that if this blade's going to break, it's going to break now, just because it would be annoying. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so on the guitar finishing oil, it, it is purely a case of rubbing it back till it's basically touch dry, and then you have to let it cure um, for... A... If it's the final coat, you have to, have to wait a couple of days or more to do it. Uh, it's an easy finish to apply, it is not a quick finish to apply. You know, spraying, etc. is much quicker. Um, Potentially what you're rubbing back is, uh, uh, we use this very heavy duty, very... <laughs> I actually had to put quite a bit of pressure on that. Uh, damn it. We use that and go back after, after 10 minutes. Sometimes, depending on the wood that you are using, your, uh, the oil will reappear out of the grain. And uh, it's sort of shoots back out. So you'll have the oil suck right into the wood and then uh, over 20 minutes or so uh, it'll uh, come back out of the pores. So maybe that is what's causing your problem. Uh, it depends on the wood that you are uh, working with. <sighs> Alrighty. Ooh, four. We can do four. Haha. -ha. So I've changed camera four. I don't want to put my head in the, in the in a way, if I can help it, but uh, yeah. And Rollins is asking if you saw how much the fifty nine less poor sold in the auction. I did. Um, I was outbid after the first 1%. No, I didn't, I didn't even put a bid in. Uh, it sold for, uh, I think, just over £130,000. And then with, with auctioneer's fees and all that, uh, it was about £168,000. Now, the beautiful thing is, while I don't know who bought it, While I don't know who bought it, I do know that it's gone to a musician. And 
and uh, it's going to be played, which is uh, supremely important to all of us, I think. A professional musician, for that matter. And I don't think it was... Um... Oh, bloody hell, I've just forgotten his name. Ha! Seriously, my brain is utterly screwed up. Joe Bonamassa, there we go. It You're wasn't... not getting enough sleep. <laughs> That's the problem. Oh, yeah, probably. It has a very detrimental effect on our memories. I've never been able to remember names, even of people that I, you know, actually care about. Um, it's, a, it's a weird thing. Names, song lyrics, that sort of stuff that uh, normal people can do. It's just beyond me. Super chat from David Lucia. Uh, it says, great watch story. I personally have a Tudor Black Bay two-tone that I would never sell. Maybe a Tudor themed guitar with a Tudor rose and shielding lay. That could be lovely. That could be lovely. I do like Tudor watches. Um, they are... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're incredible for the money. Oh, somebody's mic's gone. You're, you're, um, okay. Is it you? I'm in an awkward spot right now. Let me just... Testing. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, keep the questions coming as well. It doesn't have to be super chats. While we're doing this boring stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to pick out some. It's great how they uh, chat amongst themselves as well. Yeah. Uh, it does make finding finding questions more difficult. Ah. So, do you guys want me to get more sleep or build more guitars? <laughs> Test. I probably should have drunk the water before I turned the mic back on. was a Western Thunder Bass. Nice. But I ended up selling it. A big regret for me as now they are collector's items. Yeah, we've all we've all been there. When I was uh, 15 or 16, uh, I lived in, I, I grew up in, in Harare, Uh, some buttons on there that I've never actually looked at. Wow. <sighs> and uh, just as I was, as my mother was driving me home, I, we drove past uh, this chap who was walking down the side of the road with a guitar over his shoulder, not in the case. It had three strings on it. And I immediately knew it was something special. I did not know, I didn't know guitars, I just knew you know, that I wanted that guitar. Uh, I jumped out the car, spoke to the guy. Uh, I have no idea how much I gave him, but I was a 15 year old in Africa. I didn't have much money anyway. The guitar was strung with literal fence wire. 
anyway, it turned out to be a 1928 Gibson um, LO, I think, with an ebony, uh, with a faux mother of pearl fretboard with ebony inlays. Supremely expensive. I didn't, I, I semi-restored it, loved it. It sounded beautiful, small-bodied uh, acoustic guitar. And uh, when, I, aha! Ping, where are we at? Uh, I could feel it going. It was it was getting more and more blunt, even with the stuff. This is this was number three. Um, anyway, when I left Africa, um, when I was eighteen, I I left it there because I didn't want I didn't want to fly with it. I thought that that would be uh, we could ship it afterwards, which was daft, and uh, it got nicked basically. So that's my one that got away. And essentially I probably pay, paid the equivalent of 10 quid for this thing. And it would now be worth, well, it's, it's worth thousands at the very least, uh, in spite of my restoration efforts. A few super chats. Um, PS Guardian. Hey. Big Boss is cancelled last week. Went to the office for nothing. Oh. This week, work from home, so I get to watch the stream. Okay, and what's the bet that the big bosses actually pitch up at work and expect you to be there, even though they've told you not to be? As a boss, they suck. Uh, I've got to the point now where I'm going into headquarters on specific days, and it just is, this is the day. I'll be there then, we have this meeting, that meeting, that meeting, that meeting, show me some new products, let's design some new products, and you're in the headspace, and they're in the headspace. For, for example, tomorrow morning, we're going to be talking about the next batch of new products that we want to do, and they'll be showing me the progress on the batch of new products that we were talking about last week. And everybody knows what's happening. Anyway, um, glad to have you here, though. Now... Uh, Mark Jennings sent super chat. Mark, my God, man! It says having a mental wobble. Don't but wobble have two mentally. Pounds anyway. <laughs> no, don't mobble. Don't don't mobble. There we go. Uh, well, as Tanya says, get some more sleep. And. Uh, what are the easy things? Sleep more, drink less, eat healthy. Give yourself a break, that's the thing. We're all too yeah. hard on ourselves all the time. Just, yeah, take it easy. We've all now got the song Take It Easy I stuck in our heads. Goody Rowdy thinks you could build, build guitars in your sleep so you could just multitask there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wish I could. That would be awesome. Um, okay, super chat from Benjamin Aldridge. Benjamin. I'm not sure I'm going to say this right. The Vacheron? Vacheron Constantin Vacheron. Overseas. Uh, uh, well, yeah? uh, yes. <laughs> it says uh, reference five seven two six zero. Oh, yes or no? Is that are we talking watches again? Is that what? Did he say overseas? Yeah. Uh, no, it says. Is it? He's given a reference number. Five, five seven, seven two six zero. Oh. Six, six, oh, what's that? Oh. He's drooling now. Yeah. <laughs> I no. Uh, so Vacheron are one of the, the you know top three. Um, top three watchmakers on the planet. Uh, I don't know the reference. 57260, is that the... Oh, come on. The most complicated watch ever made. There we go, 57 complications. You're talking squillions of, of pounds. Um, Vacheron makes... Uh, I'm a chronograph guy. I absolutely love chronographs. And uh, it would be... It, it would be a chronograph of some sort. Uh, 
a split second chronograph is is something that I would absolutely love. And essentially, you you've got two second hands that are marching in step, and you can stop one while the other one carries on going. And it's it's just supremely complicated, and I love it. But uh, yeah, uh, I would not say no to any watch by Vacheron, to be honest. Except for the fact that I'm saying no to all watches right now because there are more important things in life. My wife is in the room. Shh. <laughs> Say hello to a new member. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mads Boneswall or Boneswall? Hi, Mads, how are you? And thank you for your, well, thank you for joining. Oh, I'm looking at the camera that's supposed to be looking, damn it. Terry Love sent a super chat. Terry. It says, new line of guitars built in Ben's sleep. Comes and nightmares. I, I would like idiot oh my gosh did you just see what I did there <sighs> so yeah there's gonna be some tidying up on that line I'm not quite happy with the shape there uh, we'll see I would like to say that and it's a fairly trite, it's a fairly trite thing. But if if you're a guitar builder and your business is guitar building, uh, that's cool. If your business stops making money because you are not currently building guitars, then it's not business, it's a job. The fact that I don't have to go into Crimson at all, ever, if I don't want to, and they'll still be building guitars. I could literally be sleeping and my company would still be building guitars. That is an epic achievement and something I'm incredibly proud of having managed to do. Um, the beautiful thing is that I've got a team I can trust and, and they're amazing. I get to do this because we expanded and we do tools and we do teaching and, and, and all of these different things um, that mean that I can be here talking to you and I don't have to worry about the company. Now to actually build guitars in my sleep. Yeah. I do saw a lot at night anyway. Someday we'll all be plugged into computers and we'll be working in our sleep and we'll they'll be using our brain power like in the matrix to do something for the computer. Used to say it's not happening already. <laughs> okay, we have a super chat from Lisa Harshberger. Lisa. This is good morning, Ben and Tanya. Morning. Took Ben's advice and bought more raffle tickets. Ah, Got thank you. Got an order in for stains and starting build this week, I hope. Excellent. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do. Um, in this whole Ukraine thing, I've kind of lost track in my head of GGBO and, uh, and that whole thing. And... Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, hopefully, uh, the war in Ukraine becoming resolved. And, uh, yeah, life as normal, hopefully, coming a bit... There's a sentence there. You know the sentiment. I've just had a memory. I've, I've literally just had a memory of one of my teachers um, in junior schools. I was probably 10 or so. One of my teachers saying, Ben, nobody's ever going to pay you to just talk consistently. Please shut up. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mrs. Fox. <sighs> My gosh. 
There's a place for everyone. <clears throat> Super chat from Von Art Guitars. All right. It says Ben, your philanthropy is just as inspiring as your guitar building skills. I'm I'm just so happy that this platform has come together this year. This wouldn't have been possible six months ago. I, I wouldn't have known how to do it. The raffle, the cameras, all that, all all this jazz. Um, we would have just donated, uh, you know, money like we like we did at the start of the conflict personally, and that's it. Um, I realised that we've got a, a way to, to actually do a little bit better and uh, thank you but I think it's I hope that it's just what anybody else would do. Um, what's it? Um, oh, footballer, crazy footballer, mega rich dude. I'm, I'm not a sports fan. Where's uh, Tudor watches? No. Sorry. Beckham, Beckham, there we go. Once it's, he's, he's um, letting a charity take over his Twitter account with 75 million followers to, you know... I'll, I'll go off. There's a post on that. We can hear the puppies in the background. And it's just, okay, he's got a platform, it's got 75 million followers, he's letting a, a charity use it to, you know, bring awareness to what's happening in Ukraine. Uh, we all do what we can do. And, uh, you know, if you can, you know, if you can donate five pounds, cool. If you can donate ten pounds, excellent. If you can have a live stream and uh, get a thousand people to donate five or ten pounds excellent um, every little bit helps um, and I think it's just our, our duty to, to do what we can yeah like, like we said uh, last week it, it's a team effort you know Absolutely. everybody's a part of it um, so yeah thank you as well absolutely So currently supporting saw blade manufacturers. Now at this stage, if the blade breaks here, this top bit will still be clamped and I have stabbed that saw blade through this finger in the past. Just be aware. There's a guitar related question in the chat. Will Baines said, would Ban attempt or know who to speak to about the restoration of a René Lacotte? My father pulled it out of a skip many, many years ago and wants to get it playable. Uh, yeah, um, we're absolutely up for uh, uh, send us photos. Basically, we can. Uh, we're always interested in repairing and restoring guitars. Sometimes it's not necessarily uh, cost effective. Uh, unfortunately, many times it's not necessarily cost effective. But uh, it's it's to save an instrument. Yeah. Uh, so send us photos to office at crimsonguitars.com and uh, if it's not something that we can uh, take on oh you nearly broke a blade there if it's not something we can take on then we'll uh, uh, I'm sure know somebody who can we have literally taken on two new luthiers over the last uh, month uh, with the aim of adding more repairs and restorations That's blade number four. Um, 
Baptissimo says, watching Ben taking what seems like forever to saw through that aluminium makes me wonder if I've bitten off more than I can chew with my GGBO scratch build designs. Aluminium. <laughs> uh, this is a three millimeter more, eighth of, eighth of an inch thick section of aluminium. It is far thicker than I should have chosen to use. But um, yeah, it is what it is. Is it a good time for me to warm the oven up if we're going to do the... Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'll go and check the puppies. Do you want coffee? Desperately. So you'll have to talk amongst yourselves. We can do that. Okay. We get in there. So this is blade number... This is blade number five. Cutting anti-clockwise just feels so weird. I'm not going to do that. So I've got this circle here, or hold, and I'm cutting along the outside of that so that everything is supported. In metal, I'm not too worried about it, but um, yeah, with, uh, with shell, etc., you need to have as much support as possible. Now I am, I am doing this fairly closely and I'm, 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 I'm kind of rushing this process. Uh, I do want to uh, I do want to finish the guitar today if possible. So this isn't necessarily as precise as I would normally do it. Uh, but, but it's honest, shall we say. So at this stage, well at this stage, let's have a look at what we've got. And figure out where we need to go. Oops, that's a bit bigger, that's fine. So the trident is looking handmade. There's some variation in these pieces here, and that's fine by me. If necessary, I could cut those out again. That's a really awkward shape. It just doesn't want to go where I'm telling it to. I think that's okay. Let me know in the chat what you what you think. Okay, so at this stage I'm gonna grab a file and I'm just gonna quickly tidy up 
inlay is it, it doesn't have to be difficult it's, it's a relatively straightforward it's a relatively straightforward process uh, Uh, chaos, chaos rules. Uh, okay, now it feels weird having you guys watching and not knowing what you're saying. So uh, we'll see how that happens. Oops, I missed the draw. Okay. So small half round file and I'm just tidying up. Do you know how awkward it feels knowing that there's several hundred people watching and I don't know what they're saying. Okay. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, uh, it's this camera here, so okay. yeah, we're off okay. camera. Thank you, my darling. Shall we check in and see where we're at? Yes, please. Okay. Um, and I've also got some messages I have to, uh, uh, I have to. Saying hello to a new member, Peter Crossley. Cross, crossly maybe? Uh, Peter Crossley, greetings and salutations and uh, I want to say congratulations because it rhymes uh, on, on joining the uh, members. Thank you very much. I sound like a pretentious arsewipe sometimes. <sighs> Cross we all have to bear. Nope, too big. do all the bits we can with this one file then move on to a small half round when we need it. It's just occurred to me that I have absolutely no idea what the uh, British coat of arms looks like. No clue. How's it going over there in Chatland? Yeah, um, getting lots of pressing works of cells. Um, talking about possible inlays. Uh, Eric Jewell wanted me to tell you that everybody's left. <laughs> How many people are watching? We are at 770. Okay. 
I think once we've moved over to the new to Crimson Guitars Extras for the live streams, I wouldn't be surprised if it's if it's less than that. But um, I'm also thinking about moving the live stream back to starting at ten. Uh, what do you think? Okay, I need to answer this quickly. This is uh, Max. Um, <clears throat> okay, there's a coffee there that makes me happy. So happy. Sorry, what was I saying there? You were thinking were about saying? moving the yes. streams back to 10. Yeah, I think that uh, from the point of view of uh, children and uh, finishing on time and hitting my uh, the point at which I can't actually build <laughs> any more uh, earlier in the uh, in the evening is a is a better thing. What do you think? This is a sort of a variety of comment comments here. Starting at 10 a.m. gives you more time. Um, but uh, Lisa Hushberger says, I live in the US, I get up too early now for this, so she's already <laughs> that's suffering. The, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, that is very, very much the problem. It's. Uh, Okay, so apparently the autofocus on this camera is not particularly good today. Somebody, uh, Mike Copeland, suggested why not rebrand the extras channels to Crimson Live? That's a really, 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 good really, one. really good shout. Um, is that a puppy saying, oi, let me in? Okay, sorry guys, just a bit of a technical thing here. Yeah, okay. Hopefully that fixes that. Super chat here from Goldie the Roadie. One of my favourite people. He says, you don't want to inlay the British coat of arms. <laughs> I'm sure I don't. That would certainly... I mean, this is only part of the uh, Ukraine one. So, mm, yeah. That's a better noise. It's not perfect, but it's it's not gonna be perfect. So we'll put that there. And now you've got the little pieces that all need to be just tidied up just a little bit. I watched it fall. Which means I should be able to find it straight away. Huh. Plumbing and heating solutions. 
somebody's business card. Okay. Ah, uh, woo. Now, <clears throat> uh, jewelers have a, a bit of leather or canvas or something to stop them dropping things. It catches underneath the, uh, underneath the jig and I need to, uh, I need to do the same thing. I really do. Because these are just too small. Questions? Um, so, Tutum Carman. Yeah. I'm not sure what he means by this, so you'll have to, you'll have to fill me in. So, name for this guitar the Uc Ukrainian with an E at the beginning, as it is a desire, as a desire to make everyone think about the terrible situation. I, I think it's it. all about the spelling. He's, you might have to look at the way it's spelled. Is it a pun? I'm not sure. It's lost on me, I'm afraid. Might need further explanation. Oh, I'm forgetting which piece that is. Is it a play on the word like cranium, as in your brain? Or the EU? EU, cranium? I... <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Um... Explain that one for us, we're being slow. Okay, so the other option here is for me to <clears throat> to grab a jeweler's clamp like that. They're beautiful. That's for holding rings. And uh, use that to hold the piece while I go. He says he meant the Ukrainium, so I think, yes, thinking about it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. It, so you didn't get EU it. The Ukrainium works as well. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Where are we? Super chat here from Stephen Baker. Stephen? Hi, Ben. Hey. Loving your work Thank and you. your empathy, good man. Thank you very much. Um... I, mm, I've done a lot of growing up in the last five years or so. I, I have, uh, <clears throat> I've been accused of having zero empathy whatsoever in the past. Uh, but hey, people change. Now, here's where we're at. Uh, yeah, let's carry on with these pieces then. I never thought that I would use tweezers so much, and it's pretty much every single build I do nowadays. Now, if your granddad or hell, maybe you are a fly fisherman, then and make your own flies, there are some really interesting little clamping mechanisms made for people who do that that work very well for holding. Excuse, excuse the puppy. You can let him in. Um, yeah, that are made for that. That can. 
make this better. There's a puppy in. Or no puppy. Tony's taking them out up to the house. Uh, that one runs around and finds things to chew. Uh, so. Not ideal. Now, we're nearly there. I've got four little pieces left to, to tidy up, and then we can crack on with the next stage of this multi-stage process. It's nearly two hours in. So, uh, yeah, you can see... You can see real time just how much goes into making a nice inlay. But also bear in mind that I am doing this faster than I normally would and being a little bit less precise than I normally would uh, <clears throat> in the interests of, of time. So yeah, you can quite happily spend a half day on, on an inlay like this. In fact, I probably will. <laughs> okay, so those pieces are pretty much fine. I need to find that piece of paper I blew away. And then after this, we'll do a quick recap and figure out where we stand. Thought I was wrong. Okay, so I don't want to have done there because it's. I actually do need to change the shape. That's not. That's not ideal. I've got a concave shape there where I require convex. Greg Pearl. Greg. And he says, for the people of Ukraine. Thank you. <sighs> I'm... <sighs> I have mixed feelings about this, this. I'm sitting here doing what I love to do. Um, you know, and it's not just building guitars, it's, it's you know, talking to you guys and, and, uh, and everything. And yet there are, and not only in Ukraine, there, you know, around the world, there's all sorts of shit going on that uh, shouldn't. Okay. There we go, that looks better. Stuff to me. People are concerned that you might need something to eat. Are you feeling a bit? Oh no 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 no! I'm fine. I'm just uh, just concentrating. I had uh, I had second breakfast just before eleven, so actually I should be good till uh, two or three actually. I don't normally have second breakfasts. It is purely a uh, live stream thing. I need a smaller pair of tweezers. Okay. 
Okay, so this one here, I'm going to take down and make a little bit shorter. I've just reread that. I think it was a joke from Terry. Terry Love. If Ben is starting to flag, does he need lunch? Is oh, because you're doing the flag. I'm doing a flag. Ha! That was a pun. I missed, I missed the pun. Uh, super chat here from Terry Love. <laughs> I'm intrigued to see how Ben is going to attach inlay that coat of arms. Uh, I'm going to do it the easiest way possible. Delegation. Um, no, it's, uh, it's going to be fine. I am going to, once I'm happy with the shape, which is I'm nearly there with this, I'm going to glue it all to a piece of veneer or a piece of plastic or something like that. So that these pieces don't, oh no, it can't be a piece of plastic. This is going to be going through a, uh, through an oven in a second. Uh, wouldn't it be just super hilarious if I dropped it in the F hole? Right about now. This is a tiny, tiny little piece of metal that I'm ham fistedly messing about with. Whew. Okay, there we go. Haha. <clears throat> There we go. That's what we're after. Uh, yeah. Do you want to let the kitten in? No, I don't want the animals in here. It's not a good idea. They only want to come in because of you. Well, they've got uh, the sunshine today, so they're they're lucky. Thank you. Uh, Max, my microphone's just gone down. Oh yeah, your mic's gone. Yeah. Time to get some batteries charging. Okay, so at this stage we are we are two hours into the build. Greetings. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, yeah. Okay. At this stage, uh, we're two hours into the build. I have cut out the aluminium section of the Ukraine trident section of their coat of arms. I'm going to be playing with FIMO, which is going to go into the oven in a little while and cook and we're going to have the blue to yellow gradient, well not even a gradient, just blue to yellow that uh, that we want and uh, it's going to look incredibly cool. I'm wondering if I can actually make that delineate out of freight line. That could be quite cool. Uh, the There's a kitten that desperately wants into the house, uh, into the into the workshop. This whole guitar build is being done in aid of Ukraine. Now, if you donated last week, please don't feel like you have to donate this week. The guitar is a baritone six string, semi hollow, um, beautiful, I hope, in potentia. Uh, guitar that can be yours. Uh, instead of sending super chats, please go and uh, enter the raffle. More of your money will go to Ukraine that way because the raffle fees are only 10%. Uh, if, however, you want to send a super chat and for have us to read out your question, etc., for have us to read out your question. It is that time of day. Wow. Uh, then uh, uh, after YouTube's taken their 30%, the, uh, the rest of that will also be going to the British Red Cross um, DEC Ukraine appeal and uh, he's just sitting there scratching himself at the door I see okay um, now at this stage the last week 
we raised £2,775 in Super Chats, which is going to be going uh, to that British Red Cross appeal. And, uh, and that, that's after fees. Now, the raffle this morning was at £10,500. Where are we currently sitting at the raffle, Tanya? Let me check. Page first. Oh, there we go. I need to get this cam this cat on camera. Eleven thousand two hundred and forty-five pounds. That's absolutely incredible. So we are well over. Um, there he is. So that is that's Tiger. Who's there? He is. He's just saying, "Come on, mummy, I want to cuddle." <laughs> anyway, sorry, it's a digression. I apologise. Um, yeah, so. It's amazing. After fees, 10 grand plus. Uh, if you want to do uh, donate directly, then please do go to the British Red Cross Ukraine DEC appeal and uh, we'll do that. Now, I've got a guitar to build. Uh, and also, since we're doing housekeeping, the live streams are going to be moving from the main Crimson Guitars channel to Crimson Guitars Extras and... Uh, uh, that will be carrying on every Monday uh, on that channel. So if you are not yet subscribed on that channel, please go and do so. I would personally appreciate your support. Did I miss anything? I don't think I missed anything. No, I think no. it's pretty good. They'll let you know. Okay, they will let me know. It's the best way to find out what you've done wrong is to... Wait and uh, see what you've been yeah. doing. So, I'm just wondering, well, it can go in the oven, the paper will burn off, that's absolutely fine. So I'm going to glue this to a section of paper. You could use grease proof oven paper. Um, and that's all the way up at the house, that's <laughs> fine. I do have tracing paper. The oven's not really hot enough. I don't think the paper would burn. Yeah, it's fine. It should be fine. Okay, let's get that camera back doing what it's supposed to do. Where are you? There. Camera two. Okay, so this is the plan. I suppose super glue. Cyanoacrylate. Acrylic. Acrylate. Cyanoacrylate. Well, that might be the issue, burning super glue in the oven. Oh, I don't want to burn super glue in the oven, do I? Well, you've got some ta tape on the tape on the back. Do you know what? Double-sided tape, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> I actually do have some double-sided tape. Uh, no, I'm not going to use double-sided tape. I'm going to use uh, masking tape and... We'll just stick it to the back of the masking tape, and then once we've mushed the FIMO in place, we will be okay. Yeah, Lisa's saying masking tape. Yep, yeah, Lisa, you are spot on. Uh, so essentially, I need to make absolutely certain I'm happy with the positioning of all of this stuff. Because I'm actually going to put the tape on from this side and turn it over. Everything moved. Damn it. Put the tape on the other side and then put the small bits on top. Well, it's it's getting the uh, it's getting it lined up inside the thing that's the issue. Somebody suggested um, sticking it down onto the original picture. The original picture is dead gone. and gone. <laughs> it's gone. Somebody says Captain Tape is heat proof. I don't know if we have any of I don't have any of that. All right, so that's taped down. And these are watchmaker's tweezers. Oh, I only broke four blades, so I was uh, under on my, uh, 
my estimates are in. I'm actually going to do it in multiple passes. That's what I'm going to do. There we go. That worked. I'm going to let you carry that up to the oven because I don't want to expect, <laughs> accept responsibility for... No, once it's... Uh, well, I can do that, no worries. But uh, yeah, once it's in place, it'll be... Uh, once I've got the FIMO in place, it's all going to be very, very solid. And we'll be taking the masking tape off, I think. There we go. I'm surprised I haven't got people shouting at me for using the guitar as a workbench. Um. <laughs> I do do some things just because I know it triggers some people. Does that make me an arsehole? Uh, Buck Rogers is saying, just remember to turn on the extraction fan. Yes. Old Man Zen says, I find watching these streams while I work makes me so much more productive. Watching someone productive makes me instinctively work harder. And Ben may be many things, but lazy is not one. <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, Heath Barnhart says, we know the top isn't finished. They would, they would have a go at you if it was all... If it was finished. If it was finished. I'm not happy with that. I didn't finish that. Okay, so uh, yeah, I've got a little bit more work to do in here. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I need to go in and shape that top section there. That is way wrong. This is the front. The other thing you could do is roll out the um, FIMO into the length, the size you want, and then press the pieces individually into the exact position you want. Because when you start pushing the FIMO in. Aren't they going to be spooched out of the way? Uh, and yes, unless I do it evenly around the piece, as, as you say. Uh, it's a... Uh, yeah, it's not going to be... It's going to be an interesting... Aha! There we go. Yeah, so the, what I drew matches on both sides, which is a good sign. Uh, This is going to be interesting, shall we say. Now, the first time I, <clears throat> the first time I played with FIMO as an inlay medium, I was trying to use it as an alternative for that uh, lumen lay stuff, which is horrendously expensive. And uh, it actually did do the job quite nicely. Let's just spend the time drawing the shape we want on the masking tape and then just willy-nilly remove the masking tape because we are many things. Stupid is one of them. Okay.
No. No. That's a little far. Okay. I need a I need a knife cut more than anything. Uh, let's give ourselves another chance to uh, to break a blade, shall we? Okay. Super chat from Fav Guitars. Hey, man. Hello Ben, received a join button from GGBO competitor email, cool. which doesn't seem to work. Also, please explain the procedure to post my videos on the GGBO site. Cheers Felix. Okay. Um, we are starting to have people, um, not everybody, some people, this works perfectly fine. Basically, the join is to join the micro social network within GGBO, and that is where you need to post your videos. Um, I, we need to have a look and see what's actually going on. If you could go into a fresh browser, clear the cache, etc., and try and click the link in the email again see what happens. If not, uh, drop us an email and uh, let us know that it's a problem and we will go from there. Um, I don't know what the issue is, just that it is sporadic and it works perfectly for most people, but for some it's a problem. Uh, it may even be that we need to get a different license or something for the software we're using. Uh, you're the second person, somebody else was mentioning the same problem on last night's live stream uh, on the Xbox channel. So, uh, yeah, I'm sorry it's not working properly, but uh, we will have a look at it and, uh, and fix it. So close. Yeah, but Bartismo said, when I first joined, I saw a blank page. I think it took another day or two before I was able to see the builder's area. And this was a few weeks ago. Okay, I don't, I really... Yeah, go on. I'm sorry that that's the case. Uh, maybe it is literally just a case of waiting. We, when I did the tests, I had myself and three other people sign up way before uh, GGBO so that we could make sure that it all worked according to plan and uh, it did for us i think it's important that we know about all the glitches though so if, if there are yeah. any problems if you could send emails through so we can keep an eye on how the software is working yes please uh, but anyway the to answer the second part of the question there it is basically like a mini facebook inside the website and you just make posts you create your profile you create a post you add images or video or whatever it's very very straightforward and, and, and easy a super chat here from terry love it says after last week's stream youtube must be rubbing their hands in expectation oh wow huh. <laughs> uh, I bet, yeah, it does amuse me. Uh, 
just doing the live streams and the amount of people on the channel that don't want live streams has seriously negatively affected the channel as a whole. But uh, last week, I love the idea that it's confusing the algorithm saying, and the algorithm's like, but, 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 but. Anyway, now, I'm going to put some gloves on. The cheering. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I ran some tests yesterday and uh, I still got yellow. It looks like I've taken up smoking again. Um, yellow. Yeah, somebody did comment that it might bleed into the wood, but I would think if it's encased in the aluminium there. Oh, it's encased in the aluminium and it's going to be cooked externally. So yeah, it'll be fine. I'm enjoying this. <coughs> okay, so it is... Uh, Oh, the other thing that I wanted to do was check I'm not going to be able to do this on a fret. It's going to be bang in the middle of the fret, isn't it? Sorry, it's the uh, the horizon is going to be midway so here's my 12th fret that's where the inlay is going to be basically so my Buck, Buck Rogers is suggesting we add a video tutorial for GGBO on how to upload and other procedures. That's a good idea. Uh, yes. Uh, so we did a... We did make a tutorial last year that is still live on how to... <clears throat> various ways to film and edit and all of that. So that is uh, that's something that's on the Crimson Guitars channel already. So yeah, you can you can do that. The uh, the rest of the system, it really is. If you've done any social media posting whatsoever, it's that simple. Uh, it's just uh, it says create a post uh, and gives you the option to add video links. You copy and paste the video uh, URL uh, just in the uh, in the text box. The whole thing's pretty awesome. Come on here from is it is it ape song? A I P song. Okay. Ape song. Um, it says do the filler in steps, leaving the top layer of masking tape as more assurance that the little pieces don't move. Um, I'm going to. <laughs> I sus. Yeah. I think you won't. Yeah, trial and error maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's it's one of those things. I'm going to go a little bit gently. So uh, yeah, look at uh, look at the gloves here. That would be on my hands all all day. Are you going to roll it into like a thin? Exactly. And then just gently yeah. press it in. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm with you. Okay. So. So yeah, it's just I, this, this honestly feels like I'm back in uh, kindergarten. It's great. Uh, I should get camera three involved. Cody already says, "Don't get the colours the wrong way round." Have you? No, I'm not getting the colours the wrong way around. It's wheat fields with sky. We, we, we absolutely in a rush messed up the other day and the, uh, the thumbnail on the edit has it the wrong way around and I am aghast um, that we did that. So, yeah, at this stage, it's just... Uh, 
of some weird. Do you want any of the clay tools from over the house, or have you got? Maybe you need a spatula or, or uh, like a like a um, like a palette knife for oil to press it in or something. Um, have a look in the drawers right at the bottom on that side. <laughs> it's a drawer full of amazing clay tools there. Uh, it's got serrated. Yeah, that's a that's a that's for carving. So yeah, it's uh, it's not moving. Nice. <laughs> You're off camera. Just check how clean it is. Yeah, no, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Uh, I do have metal palette knives as well that uh, that could do the job if needed. <laughs> um, Jamie says, I just got back, we're playing with Play-Doh. We are playing with Play-Doh. Um, says, does this stuff dry hard or something? Yes. So yeah, we, we are in another question was about the oven so yes we're going to cook it in the oven for about half an hour on a low temperature as per the instructions <laughs> this time I uh, I yeah I didn't leave it in long enough the other night uh, this is basically <clears throat> this is basically a, a, a an oven fired rubberized clay that uh, yeah works nicely um, I think this is taking a little bit of the uh, colour off the gloves, which I'm not uh, not happy with. <sighs> okay. Super chat from Jason Smith. Jason. Good afternoon, Benjamin and Tanya. Please don't go as far this as last week. <laughs> as a diabetic myself, you were on the verge of doing yourself damage and your presence in my world as an educator via YouTube is very important to me. Thank you very much. No, I'll uh, be better. I don't really understand. I was eating properly uh, last week. I don't know how yeah well, I don't know how it got that bad uh, but anyway uh, thank you very much I uh, will be careful so obviously this is moving some bits around but I need to be able to see what's happening Okay. <sighs> yeah, this is uh, this is fairly good. I'm confident that we have everything where we want it to be. I'm going to flip it over to the other side and see what happens there. Now the the aluminium is making my fingers a bit dirty and that I think has come off. I'm hoping that this is going to be a nice yellow when we flip it over. That's what we're after. Yeah. 
I'm happy with that. <clears throat> All right, uh, yeah, back to a glove with the blue, because blue gloves going on to blue FIMO is going to be fine. And then I'll uh, take this up to the house and uh, Tanya will entertain you. <laughs> Let me get a different palette knife. Questions? Ah, questions. You have to knead this so that it's uh, soft and malleable. It's made by Staedtler, I think. Okay, a uh, question about... Uh, yeah. why, uh, so, Carl Peterson, what about putting the inlay into the headstock instead of at the 12th fret? Uh, uh, aren't you too splitting big. it with a fret? You can have a fret go through the middle of the inlay. There's, the... Two, frets, there's two frets going through it, but... Uh, that's just the way it goes with, with inlays. Um, yeah. It's too big to go on the headstock and uh, we need a 12th fret inlay really. Okay, no, I don't want that to, I don't want that to spooge through. James Alba has sent a super chat. Um, there's Thank no, you, James. There's, um, there's no question, but it's perhaps because it's the same old problem with the, the if you just pay a pound or a dollar, it won't let you type in any um, questions. So, James, if you do have a question, I'll look out for it in the chat. It's a strange old system, the super chat thing. I, uh, I never thought... Well, I, when I started doing live streams, I didn't even... Hadn't even considered that it was a uh, a thing. It was enabled on the uh, it was enabled on the on the uh, channel. And uh, when the first super check came through, it absolutely blew my mind. Now, here we go. Okay, James says, I was going to say not to forget to add more tape, but he remembered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they would have uh, spooged all the way through the back into the fretboard and stained things and been nasty. So I'm glad it didn't. Now, the interesting thing, I'm sure some of you are, are, are interested, are, are questioning it. Uh, the, once it's cured, or while it is in the oven doing its, doing its thing, it actually expands a little bit. Uh, Tanya and I last night were worried that it would contract and shrink, um, which is what I would expect, to be honest. But that's, uh, no, it, it expands and uh, uh, yeah, it's cool. I'm afraid I skipped over Lisa's chat. Sorry, Lisa, I've just seen that come up. Um, Lisa sent a super chat. Lisa Harshberger, where can you order the GGBO t-shirts and did you find a US distributor? Uh, we haven't found, so uh, t-shirt wise, you will get a link uh, to Letha and or Dale uh, will be sending you a link. Oh, come on, Ben, you're forgetting what you're doing. I've got tiny little pieces there that I don't want to mess around with. And I'm messing around with them because I'm a fool and thinking furiously. Furiously thinking. <sighs> uh, the t-shirts, you should get a link. Uh, now there's a, when you buy your GGBO entrance, you get sent a, a link via email, which has a, 
download thing where you can basically download a uh, all of the logos and things like that for GGBO. And uh, you need, and in that there is a Word document, and in the Word document there is a, a link to where you can get your specific t-shirt for your category of the competition. Uh, now, what was the second part of the question there? Um, oh, distributor. A US distributor. Okay, distribution is a huge issue. Um, we are very, the margins are very, very tight with what we do for the most part. Uh, some things are, are, are more profitable than others, of course, but to just willy nilly lose 30%, uh, which is the absolute minimum that a distributor would want, it's actually just not feasible, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, we are, it's a struggle to actually find uh, a way that we can make that work. Uh, Finley Williams sent a super chat says start your tape ball uh, <laughs> love point. the crimson students <laughs> I will do Finley good man okay so that's not quite gone all the way through some of that blue then Uh, Rog Pigfender is saying, is it my screen calibration? The blue FIMO or FIMO looks purple on my screen. Uh, it is a purpley blue. I had several options. Uh, th there wasn't a huge selection available to me. And this was the closest to what, what we need. Uh, but yes, it is. It is actually blue, but it's it's a purpley blue. IRL. Uh, there we go. I think that's fine. So the the excess is going to be. Uh, filed and or sanded away later. So what I'm going to do now everybody is run up to the house and uh, Tanya will entertain you. <laughs> and uh, we can go from there. Now, yeah, I'm going to put this in the oven. It needs to sit in there for half an hour. So uh, we're good. Gonna be quite cool. Excellent. So it's the main camera here. Oh, while I'm about it, let me replenish my water bottle and uh, turn my mic off. So when I get back, my microphone's off. I I'll take it because I, don't, I can't think of anything to say. What? We're going to leave them absolutely. <laughs> no, I'll take it out if it's if it's secure and uh, you're not worried sides. about me breaking Just hold it. Hold on the side. Hold on the side. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Which way do you want it in the oven? That way? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> ah. All right. So, well, in that case, hi, everybody. I'm still here. My microphone is back on. <laughs> and uh, here we go. Two hours, 35 minutes in, and the inlay is in progress. Uh, uh, going to go and cook. And be done. You can use this to make side dots. If you want multicolored side dots, you can use it to make all sorts of stuff. It's when cooked properly, it's plastic in the end, but it's relatively durable. And for small inlays and things, I think it's uh, it's absolutely fine. Uh, now. tidy up a fraction and we can move on 
we can move on with the next stage of this build. I should have drawn around the inlay beforehand so I could route that now, but uh, I'm sure you've all had enough of inlay for the minute. Okay, lots, lots of files and rasps and things. Let's get them out the way. Chaos. I find it important uh, in between tasks and uh, at every opportunity to tidy up your immediate vicinity and just uh, get back to just get back to a, a something approaching normality and uh, organization. I ascribe to I ascribe to Adam Savage's uh, first order retrieval system. If you need a tool, you shouldn't have other tools in between you and it. You shouldn't have to move something to get to that thing that you need. And uh, once you've got everything in its in its place and in its place, it makes the whole workshop experience so much more enjoyable and productive. There are a few things more frustrating to me than knowing I have a tool, but not being able to locate that tool. Uh, it's, it's a problem, isn't it, really? So uh, yeah, four blades. I've still got two in here and, uh, and one in there. And uh, it's all fun and games. Thank you very much. Um, it's nuts. Woohoo, in a bar. Okay. I am going to need to go up to the house anyway. I was going to use that as an excuse to... I thought you might. Yeah. I'm sorry, I spoiled. You, uh, yeah. I just suddenly panicked and thought, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, it's, it's absolutely fine. Um, the beautiful thing about uh, about everybody here is that they will just carry on talking amongst themselves and answering and asking questions and uh, it's a, a, a sort of a very kind and nice self-policing self-entertaining family of, of people which is well, something that makes me very happy okay do, 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 do. Have a snack and I'll read the super chats. I'm going to run up to the house quickly. You're going to run up to the house quickly. Yeah. You, 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 <laughs> so you didn't get out of talking to people. <laughs> Sorry. Back in the day. Oh dear. My oh. mic's off. Okay. Uh, yeah. Everybody, well done. Yeah. Every, everybody come up with questions for oh, hold Tanya. Hold on. Let me have a look. And uh, uh, yeah. Ask Tanya questions. Uh, Terry super chat. I was going to read that out to um, to Ben, um, so I'll hold that one so he because then I will uh, make him do that. Uh, spill the beans on Ben. <laughs> He's very messy. In case you hadn't noticed.
Uh, Gregory H. How am I today? I'm pretty good today. Thank you, Gregory. It's the sun is shining. I had a good night's sleep. Can't really complain. Oh, you guys make me laugh. I can't I can't keep up with you. You're too quick. Okay. Andre Silva, there are no cows thankfully in the field at the moment. I would rather have sheep. We had sheep for a, a little while. Um, the cows like to stick their head over the fence into our garden and when you're not expecting it <laughs> it can give you a bit of a shock um, yeah and they can they can be a little bit aggressive sometimes um, yeah not my favourite animal uh, Buck Rogers it is Tanya with an I but I'm, I'm not I'm never offended really um, by the misspelling Uh, close to lambing time. Oh, I don't mind. I, I would. I'd love to have sheep, um, Terry. They um, they've got amazing characters. Cows are just, yeah, they're just not nice. Okay, IFAX, do I play an instrument? Um, I used to play the flute. Um, I never took my lessons very seriously. I just thought it was really fun. Um, but I hadn't picked it up in about 20 years, picked my flute up in lockdown and the thing broke. <laughs> so I would thought, I thought, yeah, this is my chance. I'll get back into it, I'll do it again. And no, I failed at the first hurdle. So I'm hoping I can get it fixed and hoping that I can pass it on to the children because um, I, I'm too old, I think. My brain doesn't work that well, but I'd really like them to take up more music. Who mows the lawn? I mow the lawn. I do all the housework and all the gardening um, just because Ben doesn't really have the time. Howdy. I'm boring them with talk of cows. Talk of cows. We don't like cows very much. Oh yeah, but oh, like looking Andre like... Silver just pointed out that a cow won GGBO. Oh, very true, but that's... Uh... I think that's the, 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 yeah, the sort of the... The cute, uh, yeah, baby cow sort of look, isn't it? It's um, when you're actually in a field of cows and they surround you, they're actually pretty scary, aren't they? Yeah. Um, sorry, I've just uh, got some uh, organising to do. <sighs> so, okay, so. Mm. There's a there's a bunch of stuff happening at uh, at Crimson at this stage. We need to essentially there's a potentially huge uh, thing that uh, essentially we've been approached to do a potential TV show that we really that has been my goal for like twenty years now. How old am I? 
basically 20 years. And uh, the problem is that uh, they want to come down and film some stuff in the workshops at Crimson and it's not ready. So we're going to be coming, uh, going down to Crimson on Saturday and maybe Sunday and uh, calling uh, for volunteers. So if you're in the area and fancy coming and helping us paint walls and lay floors and eat pizza and drink beer, then uh, give us a shout. There'll be maybe 10 or 15 uh, places available and uh, it's all going to be filmed and uh, will be cool. And if you know any graffiti artists uh, who would be up for painting a few doors, give us a shout. Uh, and that's what I'm trying to organise as well while on the phone, while running around. But anyway, it's all good. Now, what I want to do what I want to do is finalize the outline on this guitar and then mark out the position of everything that needs to be done. And we'll go from there. Okay. First thing I need to do is fill this cavity with some tissue. Uh, Tony, you said there were some super chats. Yes, yeah, so um, Terry Love has sent a generous super chat, a donation to send Lisa Harshberger a t-shirt in her category. She makes some of the sanest comments on here. Sanity. So, so Sanity. I, um, um, we need to send that to Tom to get the t-shirt. Okay, this, this just absolutely confuses matters entirely. <laughs> Uh, Terry, you, your 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 entire goal in life is to is to confuse me, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, if you if you keep a note of that, Tanya, yeah, we'll okay. uh, we'll organise something. But uh, Terry, you're cool, and yes, Lisa, you're sane. I suppose that is a fairly cool thing to say to somebody. You are absolutely sane. Okay, so we've got, I don't want dust and stuff getting in here. So, but I also do need to be able to uh, sand the top and, and, and get that done. So instead of the masking tape that was on it, I'm just stuffing this with uh, tissue that will then pull out and will be sorted. So that's fine. We don't have a template. There's a super chat here from, I don't think it's Git Lee. Okay. Short, maybe short for Guitar Lee. I'd say so. Um, when I suggested the coat of arms, I knew you would be able to do it, but I didn't imagine this, genius. <laughs> Thank you very much. It, uh, on, the, on the day, it was problematic. I wasn't going to be able to do the yellow and the blue on the day. Uh, but uh, yeah, with a little bit more thought, I remembered previous experiments with Fimo and uh, yeah, it's all, it's all good. Okay, so I have got this now in position. And it's just a case of drawing around. Now I'm using the 0.7 millimeter Graph Gear 1000 pencil, which wasn't bought for this, but for some reason I've misplaced both of my 0.9s. Uh, so, yeah, they'll be up in the house somewhere. So I left this fairly big so that I would be able to sand down or cut down 
to the uh, to the line through the joints and this gives you a much cleaner uh, glue joint between the top and the body and uh, something about redwood I seem to recall is that you you can end up with uh, accentuated glue lines where the the wood glue basically stains the redwood and uh, yeah I was just wondering if this would reduce that Questions? Sorry, I was just reading back through some of the chat that I missed because it came in quite fast back then. Uh, Terry Love has sent a super chat. He says, Ben, my goal in life is to die with nothing left on in my bank account. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's a worthy goal and uh, one which I sympathise with. I've only just realised that this is going to be officially the most expensive guitar I've ever made. By probably an order of magnitude. That's really cool. Um, actually, it is coming up on hour three, so let's do a quick recap. Um, Tanya, prepare thyself okay. with numbers. Okay, okay nice. so at this stage, we are, I started, yeah, we, we're nearing hour three on day two of this one day build. Uh, it is for charity, it is to raise money for the British Red Cross Ukraine DEC appeal. Uh, and uh, your guys' support has been absolutely mind-blowingly cool. I really appreciate it. At this stage, the inlay, which is the uh, trident uh, part of the coat of arms of Ukraine, is in the oven cooking because I've had to use FIMO in order to get the blue and the green colour going. Uh, that... I didn't pay attention Did to we time it. No, we didn't oh, time it. <laughs> Dag Um Somebody quick, go back into the live stream and figure out when I walked up to the house, please. Um, but anyway, that's, that's doing what it's doing and it's fine. I am now moving on to the guitar body, which last week we jointed the body, we jointed the top, I cut an F hole, I routed out a tone chamber and the back, uh, the control cavities, etc. And we've also painted the inside of that with blue and yellow as well. At this stage, I'm going to finalize the outline and then mark out and maybe even route neck pockets and the like. Uh, the neck is waiting for the inlay and then frets and then carving. Uh, the closer we get to the end of the day, the longer it, it feels. I think this is going to be a three, three day build. But hey, it is what it is. <sighs> Everybody, we are doing this to raise money to donate to Ukraine. Now, uh, the, the most efficient, the most wonderful bang for your buck is to do donate directly to the British Red Cross uh, appeal. Uh, if not, the second best is to enter into the raffle to win this guitar. And uh, that means that 90% uh, of the money that you uh, used to buy raffle tickets will be going directly to, well not directly, indirectly, but it'll be going to the Ukraine uh, Red Cross Appeal. 10% of that money goes to the RAF all uh, system where they've paid for all the licenses and things and, and that's their fee and it's uh, sort of, it is what it is. Uh, at this current stage, the raffle is currently sitting at... We are at £11,542.50. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, and how many tickets has that sold? Because the tickets are £2.50 uh, each. 4,617. Okay, well, there we go. The odds are you're very, very much more likely to win this guitar than you would if you spent the same money in a, in a uh, lottery thing. Anyway, and then after that, uh, the all the Super Chat revenue after YouTube have taken their fee because they will only accept charitable uh, organizations that are within the US and uh, we couldn't well 
we're using the British Red Cross. Um, after that, Super Chat revenue is also going to uh, the same appeal. Last week we raised uh, £2,775 via Super Chat, and this week, uh, bear in mind I'm telling people to go over and enter the raffle instead, we're sitting at a Super Chat figure of... Super Chat today? Yeah. Uh, 425.50. Which is about double what we normally expect on a day where I'm just building a guitar. Uh, in a normal day, so that's incredible anyway. Thank you very, very much. Um, okay, I'm going to... That might be Talitha. I'll go and check the oven as well. Uh, that may well be Talitha, yes. Yes, that's Talitha. I've okay. got a message saying, I'm here. I'll do that um, Not like I got uh, distracted by my phone. Uh, okay, now before I do that, I am going to munch on uh, this bar because I'm diabetic and it needs to be done. So I'm just going to mute my camera and uh, clear off the bandsaw, which requires clearing off so that I can cut more material away. So I'm not going to need to cut all the way. A lot of it is actually close enough, but some of the larger cuts, I'll uh, just cut the excess off. Ha oh, there he is. Hey, Pippin. Nope. Anyway, sorry, a digression. Let's shut that door, get these on. I'm gonna turn my mic off actually.
Okay, so I generally, I generally don't need to wear goggles when I'm using band saws. In this case though, you've got lovely little bullet shaped sections of glue on the side that uh, <clears throat> wanted to ping everywhere. Hi, is that done then? Yes. Just needs to cool and you need to clean up the um, oh, excess. There we go. So uh, uh, it's just uh, Talitha has come in with. It's cool. With that. I know it's cool. I made it. Ha 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 ha. All right. So greetings, greetings, greetings. Uh, yes, I wore goggles because it needed to be. Normally, when you're cutting a solid piece of wood that doesn't have extra bits glued onto it, you don't have bits firing off. And that's that. Now, I'm going to crack on with the with sanding the edge down and finalising this shape. And that will be done uh, on the Triton Oscillating Spindle Belt Sander of awesomeness. Uh, one of my most useful and favorite machines of all time and uh, yeah there we go uh, before i start that are there any chats or super chats yeah we are here Talitha, if you want to take over cool. so Talitha's taking over for a little bit and then uh, yeah Tanya's to deal with children uh, yeah uh, yes yeah so okay yeah so later. very cool have a good one a super chat from Peter Kettinus, but no Peter. message. Oh, thank you for the donation. And Phoenix Custom Guitars sent £50. Thank you very much. To say, boosting the funds, advice needed. Always. I have a Martin Acoustic in nice. for neck slash headstock repair. Okay. Cracked from nut towards bridge, best, least intrusive fix. Wick thin sino in or be more brutal and make a complete break and glue up with wood glue. Um, you don't need if if it's thin enough that super thin super glue is your only option, then you can try that. It's probably not going to be enough. I would open the crack as much as possible and put thin wood glue in. Wood glue is better, absolutely. Now you can thin the wood glue down with water and if you've got a crack you can always um, basically use a syringe flood force the glue in and then uh, use vibration to spread it out through the thing even just just doing something like that will will create a vibration that will get it through places flex it a little bit you shouldn't necessarily need to re-break it entirely uh, with a crack like what sounds like what you're describing, you should be should be able to fix it. But uh, I would say with the proper glue, if at all possible. Uh, all right. So Talitha, if you wouldn't mind sitting your computer on the end here, so that I can. Uh, go into sanding mode. Uh, I can answer questions while I'm still setting up that. Well, there's one from Godie the Roadie. Godie the Roadie. Roadie. Who keeps on goading me. <laughs> he doesn't really. Life. I like him. He's, uh... Okay, so what is that? That is currently camera one. Um, yeah. Three. So if you just change between one and three every now and then to leave it. Okay. So we're currently sitting at uh, nearly 500 pounds in uh, in chat revenue for uh, for Ukraine. Amazing. Okay. On we go.
Okay, well, <laughs> maybe we should uh, look at camera three for a second. Where is camera three pointing at? Oh, over there. There we go. So we've got, yeah. So it's Aletha. Hello. Who changed these? Uh, <coughs> it's been some modifications. We've moved the. Uh... Okay. Is this still that mic? Yes. And yeah, that's still the main. <laughs> Go to the roadie, Ben. Have you seen the new Gibson Theodore? <sighs> do I need to do anything more than sigh? It's horrific. It's horrific. Let's let's find a random sketch that um, the former head of Gibson drew in the fifties or sixties, and absolutely slavishly copy this unfinished sketch of an idea that back then didn't deserve to be made into a guitar and release it. How freaking stupid do you have to get? Like. This one that's going for nearly eight thousand pounds. I don't know. Show me. Yeah, it's horrific. <sighs> okay, so uh, you saw. You saw. I had the belt set up. Did most of what I wanted to do. I then went to a slightly finer, um, large. <sighs> tube of sandpaper, spindle, spindle. There we go, because uh, from where my my ba where the tool is, etc., I couldn't get into this from that edge, and uh, I wanted to be able to push it in like that. So we ended up going a slightly finer route, and uh, it's all it's all good. Um, questions as to what grits you used. Uh, one hundred and twenty and one hundred and. Something finer than that. Uh, I didn't actually look at the grits, to be honest. Okay. Um. But uh, that tool entirely does away with the requirement for a router table uh, when you're routing out, and it's just. It might even be faster. It might even be faster. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, Strider. Hell Riders. Yo. Says, haven't checked in for a few days. How's the one day build going with shit tons of stuff going on? It's only day two of a one day build, man. Come on. Oh. Carrot, ginger, and butternut, please. Yeah. Uh, it actually feels like a major treat having, uh, having soup while doing a guitar build. So, yeah. So you don't want my snacks then? Oh, I definitely want your snacks too. Soup's going to be ages. Um, now, at this stage, we have got... Ah, because we're trying to do... Ah, woo, woo. Thank you, Talitha. That's biltong and a nice cold diet coke. All right. In reality, now that I've got the neck, I'm sorry, the dog is, he's young and loud. Oh, that's Jasper. No, that's not Jasper barking. Uh, okay, I need to finalize the geometry of the back of this neck. I need to chop that off. I need to sort out the depth, etc., before I do any routing on the body. Uh, and before I even mark out the body, because, you know, it's a problem. So that is enough of the body work for now. And uh, we can crack on with L inlay uh, after, <laughs> after I answer some questions and uh, yeah. use the built-on chisel. Is anyone else having audio issues or is it just my mic and I'm talking too quietly? You can turn your mic up if you would like. Um. 
Go away. Pippin, you loud puppy. Uh, would you, Talita, would you mind? Yeah, to, it's because he's trying to take a uh, bone away from Jasper. Uh, all right, I need a piece of wood. Oh yeah, there was a comment that in your recap about the inlay and the colours, mm -hmm. you, you said green and yellow. Did I? So they're wondering if you should redo that for the edit. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, uh, Bear will save me. All right, a little bit of food. So this is Biltong. It's uh, dried and spiced uh, meat via... It's a South African thing, and it's delicious. And Talitha and my mother uh, do, it, do it on a regular basis. And it's actually perfect food for this sort of day. So there. Get the cameras all sorted again. Okay. Is it good? Or is it too wet? Oh no, it's good. So, that's where that's going to sit, <laughs> and before you, you always double, triple check, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12, absolutely certainly 12. I love this comment. What the heck, I just connected to the stream to find him chiseling food? <laughs> Hungry! Aren't human eyes amazing? I got that centered precisely to within a half of a millimeter. Actually, while I'm here, I'm just gonna actually just mark around the outside with a scalpel, because that's what we need to do anyway. There's no point in relocating it later. So instead of typing answers, you can just ask, mm -hmm. answer them. But they're not super chats. It doesn't matter. No, Terry Love has sent a super chat to say, some years ago I went to a London restaurant that served wildebeest, zebra, kangaroo, <laughs> alligator and other stuff. I think it's gone now. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it is as well. Um, Okay, I have eaten kangaroo. I think I've probably eaten zebra. There was a stage where we were a little bit short of money growing up and mm. mum was feeding us ostrich. Ostrich, lots of ostrich. Don't like ostrich. Minced ostrich wasn't fun. There was a time when we had no money. From zero to, you know, last year. We were never in poverty and we never went without a meal. Holy <laughs> oh, shit. 
<laughs> we lived on charity most of the time, uh, for, for a long time. But anyway, um, <sighs> I have marked out where that needs to go. Now, this has cured nice and hard. I'm going to uh, yeah, that's the test actually. Questions on how you're going to clean that up. You're going to super glue masking tape to, to a block of wood and heat it with that. Oh no, 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 no. I don't want to heat it up again. <coughs> um, this would literally just, uh, should just be able to, yeah, look at that. It's hard, but it's still basically just a hardened like plastic. plastic yeah. um, so let's grab. Where are we? Now this isn't a material that I've used very much before. Hell, Talitha, you have a lot more experience with Fima than I do. Yeah, it's great fun to use. And easy to carve once it's cooked. Um, so yeah, here we go. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to just take it down to see which is the best side. And uh, then I'm going to hope that my my shape is actually nicely symmetrical because I've obviously just marked that out from one of those sides onto onto the fretboard. You're not using your built-on chisel, are you? No, nope, not okay. this time. <laughs> you can't cut built-on with that chisel now. Is this toxic? Uh, not in those quantities, but it's not recommended. Hmm. Okay, so obviously we're missing a piece in the middle there that is... has been pushed through to the other side, I suspect. Super chat from J.M. Stearns oh, hi. saying watch out for the horizontal yellow line in the inlay being near the 12th fret. It looks, it almost looked as though the fret would go into the yellow section. No, from that, uh, uh, the, the joiner, the joining line is about halfway between the two. It's, it's, it's in the middle of the 12th, basically. So you're not going to have the fret going no. straight through the middle, okay. Although I did consider, I did consider that as the design at one point, but realised that it just wouldn't work. How did the internal colour go? I left before you did that. Yeah, really good. You can't see it right now, there's uh, tissue paper in there. Shucks. I'll just do some built on there. You got first taste this time. This was ready um, this morning. You have shown fantastic restraint. Okay, so... <laughs> Camera two, yeah. You can read out questions that aren't super chats, Talitha. Okay. Oh, so I have. I've lost one of the one of the bits of uh, of aluminium has actually gone walkies. I can't believe that. There's nothing on the tray. No, no, it's it's in here. It's just in the wrong place. Oh. Oops. Oops, indeed. Wow, that's problematic. 
interesting fact from Andrew George, spelled J-O-R-J. Okay. The trident was not thought of as a national symbol until 1917. Okay. When one of the most prominent Ukrainian historians, I'm going to butcher this name. Go on then. Mykhailo, M-Y-K-H-A-I-L-O. Mykhailo, okay. Khrushchevsky. Khrushchevsky. <laughs> proposed to adopt it as a national symbol. Well, I'm glad they did because I got to make this. But as you can see, I've lost a section in there. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, inlay this into the guitar, glue it all down, and then route out a section or see where we end up, basically. Uh, we'll... Can you use aluminium powder? No, there's no need. It, it'll just turn into a traditional inlay, it's fine. Oh my love. This could be messy. Really that is a giant <laughs> chunk of soup, that it's is. It's really hot right now, so leave it for about 10 minutes. Okay. Um, yeah, put it on the, uh, on the bounce there. Thank you very much. I'll get you another spoon. <laughs> um, it's fine. It's like. Oh, new spoon. Fantastic. That's right. I will be shooting off. See the bit. Fantastic. If you can. Uh, Take Jasper with you so that. Uh... Yeah, I'll take them all out tonight. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. Shame Jasper just wants some peace and quiet with his boat. He does, yeah. Uh, Stefan. I'm sorry about your surname. I caught Ab. Abizid. Abizid. Just curious, and it has been years now, but what was the inspiration for moving from to the current Crimson logo? The old font was really awesome. The newest one with the guitar is awesome too. <laughs> uh, very politic. Uh, so, yeah, essentially we wanted a swoopy, nice new logo. I don't like the font. So actually, maybe what we need to do, Talitha, is combine the two. I can look at that. Fantastic. Uh, we'll need to buy a license for the... Uh... Yeah, the old font was really blocky. And the inspiration for that, the guitar shape, is the 12 hour. Yeah. And you just built the 12 hour when you decided to... No. No, the 12 hour had been a couple of years. It was, it's still one of my favourite guitars. I was designing the logo and uh, I got a photo of that guitar and drew around the bottom and said, Yep, there's the logo. Go and make it. And then people digitised it and it worked. That was after about six months of waiting for... Um, an employee at the time, not to, leave the, to to do a logo that looked right. Turns out, if logo design is not your thing, it's not your thing. It doesn't matter whether you know how to use Photoshop. Uh, it takes a it takes a mind, certain yeah. a mind, a certain type of person. Okay. Anyway, so what I've got here is the cavity has been marked out. I can't believe that section of aluminium moved. Uh, I'm. I really don't know how that happened because I checked it. But Terry, anyway. Terry Love sent a super chat to say, could you sand the logo and hope the missing piece re-emerges? It's in the wrong place. It's actually moved. Okay. And uh, I... Someone else said, what about sanding it so that it's the whole piece is thinner and then you've got less to embed into the fretboard? Um, no, that's not an issue because it's such a big uh, section of uh, material, it's going to be fine. Uh, now, my only issue is, do I, where's my damn router? Do -de -do. Now, I don't want to use a big router, I want to use a Dremel, and I have several of them floating around, I just don't know where... Okay, so here is a here is a router base. That's the old Proxon router base. Okay, here is here's a router. That's been disintegrated. So this Dremel is falling apart. Yay. Mm. 
Oh, hello. That's a three flute. Mm. So this route of the, the lock system has uh, essentially disintegrated, so I've had to chop bits off. Uh, it might not actually be okay. We'll see. Questions? Paul Need says the new router base was on the bandsaw. So yes, <coughs> the new router base is on the bandsaw, but that has currently got a guide bush set up in it. And I haven't got the non-guide bush section uh, here. That is um, still a crimson because I'm a fool. Mark Milligan wants to know if you prefer to use Dremel or Proxon. Uh, either. They... Uh, I use Proxon a lot for a long time, but uh, yeah, in the end, in the end, I'll use I'll, I'll use either. It doesn't really matter to me. They're much of a muchness. Dremel has obviously got more accessories and bits and pieces and cool stuff. And marketing. Yes, and marketing. Yeah. I just love this username. Namphazar says PPE exclamation mark exclamation mark. Yes. You can go and have a PPE if you want. I won't stop you. <laughs> um, yes, I'm going to use PPE. Don't worry. I've just set the depth. Uh, it's sitting in there nice and solid. And, uh, and yeah, uh, my microphone's going to go off. Uh, Before you do that. Yes. Jibes Blues says, Dear Ben, glad for what you do. Just bought 10 tickets for the Ukraine. Congrats for Ukraine. Congrats for your devotion to help. Thank you very much and thank you very much. And uh, yeah, may the odds ever be in your favour. So the raffle currently stands at £11,670. That's fantastic. So we've raised uh, over £1,000 today. Okay, so uh, work holding is important. Always have... Uh, what you're working on uh, solidly locked down so they can't move. I can see what I'm doing. We've got all sorts of lights and bits and pieces going on. And uh, I'm going to cut up to as close to the line as possible. And uh, then I'll tidy it up a little bit with a chisel so we've got a nice, yeah, a nice cut. But uh, yeah, we'll see. And then after this, I'm going to stop, answer your questions, and uh, have some food. So, yeah, send questions through. Doesn't have to be super chats. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, if Talitha spots it, I'll try and answer. <sighs> Where's my ear defenders? Where did I put my ear defenders? Green ones are they? Pencil. Ah. There they are. <coughs> Isogenes, Crimson 10, get yourself 10% off. You got it right. I get it right this time. Okay, my mic's off.
top tip. And uh, I can't believe I forgot to do this. You can see that I'm struggling a little bit with dust. And uh, that's absolutely fine because, hey, I'm creating shavings. What you need to do is uh, take a small section of masking tape, discard most of it because we live in a profligate and wasteful society. And then basically I'm going to make a masking tape propeller on the blade. And that's going to go thwack, 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 thwack around, create a downdraft, and it's going to blow all of this out of my way. Woohoo. I'm sorry, I put my headphones on, I couldn't hear you. Swap, 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 huh? Swap, swap, swap. That's what I said. I'm sticking with it.
<clears throat> okay. Well, here we go. It's even on the right fret. You were grinning. I'm assuming there's a scathing, sick burn somewhere, winging its way swiftly. Several. <laughs> Legion 23 in Roman, Roman numerals mm -hmm. XX III. Has somebody already told Ben he won't finish today? Oh, Ben told Ben. And then lots of responses saying, you can tell him yourself or whatever, you know, if you like. And then. Uh, time out, time out. Terry Love. <laughs> I don't think he needs anyone to tell him. He knows, we know, just won't admit it. I. Uh... I'm at the point now where I'm thinking, hmm, maybe um, <laughs> uh, I can pretend that it was all a plan to get you to come over to the Crimson Guitars Extras channel because the live streams will be moving to that channel from uh, next week. So, uh, so yeah, it's all a ploy, a cunning, cunning ploy, I th thought ahead. Uh -huh. Or something. Uh, so... I'm sure there's people shouting me for not wearing a uh, mask. Not that I've seen yet, now you've okay. it up. I didn't wear a mask, it's... yeah. So JS Trucking has joined us and said, uh, Creeper, I just woke up, what have I missed so far today? Lots of responses to him, but my favourite is Owen Kelly. Mm -hmm. saying, JS Trucking, we're all getting free t-shirts, Biltong, and Bun has made his head tattoos into an NFT we can buy the rights to. This has all been made up, except the NFT part. <laughs> hey, Jasper. He's an old, old, old puppy. Yeah. I think he can smell your Biltong. Oh, he knows, he knows there's something. He definitely knows there's something in here. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to quickly eat some soup, so uh, I will turn my microphone off so I'm not slurping your ears, because that ew, horrifies me. But, uh, Talitha, shoot questions at me. Sure. Super chat from James, James Watkins. James. Who sent £20 and says... Thank you very much. Been watching for years and glad I could finally catch a stream. Currently volunteering out in Poland, helping mm. with networking and comms infrastructure. Making the most of my break by being here. Heart emoji. Keep up the great work. You too. I... Yeah. I, I, I am... I don't currently have a passport. But I, I've just, you know, ADHD. It's not the most important thing in my life and I have... I've got the yeah, forms. but I'm blown but, uh, away by the people who are actually going out. And, this is the thing. Um, there's there's local people who mm. have collected truckloads of donations from the surrounding area and are driving it themselves to the border. And Absolutely, it's just incredible. which is mind blowing. I've got a big van, and uh, if I had the if I had a passport, I would probably be doing that instead of this, and. Uh, I even just thank you for being you. Thank you for doing what you can, and uh, um, yeah, it is much much appreciated. Questions as to what the soup flavor is and whether you've seasoned it with sawdust. It has black flecks in it. Um, <laughs> butternut squash, carrot, and lentil. Pepper, and not something. <laughs> Ebony. Might be pepper, might be ebony. I eat enough ebony in my day to day in the first place. That's fine. But soup is a soup is a really good um, for the for diabetes and sort of uh, it's it's good energy and it's it's long lasting basically. Now that combined with the biltong and I'm actually uh, I'm doing quite well. Cool. Tahoe Mike, are we there uh -huh. yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Time out. <laughs> Just out of interest, are we getting many um, spammy 
comments like we had last week? I haven't seen any. I excellent believe Creverai is in the Creverai is he's in the chat. He's, yeah, yeah. Okay, eating hot soup fast is also not ideal. So I'm going to crack on with a little bit of this. Season your soup a little bit more. Oh, well, no, I'm just going to be tidying the edges up with a, a chisel. Fuka Me wants to know a would you rather. Mm -hmm. Would you rather build a guitar without any wood glue or build one using only petrol powered tools? Wow. I mean, other than garden equipment, I've never used a petrol powered tool. I suppose I could get a giant lump of wax and use a petrol powered strimmer to carve a guitar out of the wax and then do a lost wax casting thing. Uh, the former, I could use super glue. <laughs> yeah. You could even do some incredibly intricate Japanese jointing that you didn't need. Yep, yeah, done that. Uh, sorry, considered that yeah. in the past. Anthony Cunliffe. Hey, how you doing? Ben, you never seem to use a solid colour that covers the grain of the guitar. Do you like wood too much? What kind of finish would I use to finish a guitar in a solid colour like Fender, please? He asked me if I like wood too much. Her, her. I love wood. It is the be all and end all of my existence. Um, <clears throat> okay, so that being said, yes, I use solid. I use solid colours on a on a regular. I don't on an irregular basis. I don't use them very much in my personal builds, because uh, I am lucky enough to be using nice pretty wood. We are working on a budget range of uh, crimson guitars, actually, at the moment, that will be solid. Now, in your case, I would suggest use a rattle can finish. Basically, any paint that is sold to be used on cars is perfectly fine for guitar building. Uh, the substrate is the thing. I would suggest that you need to pay some attention to the uh, to the undercoat uh, and uh, if you want a perfect finish then 100% uh, a coat of primer uh, rubbed back and uh, and then sanded perfectly flat and then you apply a thin coat of of spray paint that's your best bet <coughs> So Jamie Kortkramer said the little propeller is the best Dremel tip ever. Isn't it I just? I won't use mine anyway, without it anymore. And uh, Creverize said... Thank you. I, I, it's not my tip. I, I, I was taught that by somebody else. And yeah, mind a balloon. You've used it ever since. Uh, Creverize said the most important part of that tip is, of course, cutting it on the finished fretboard. Yeah, it's not finished. Nowhere near finished. But yeah, fair point. I'm just gonna mute you. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then. Uh, Weberlistic. Muted myself. I didn't mute him. Weber what? what? Weberlistic. Weberlistic. These people's names. Are, I am so bad at naming things, and you've all got cool names. Yeah, you're just crimson. Uh, is there a rule for inlay logo orientation? Do you orient it so that it's good when hanging on the wall from the headstock or so it's good when held in playing position? Depends on where you put it. If it's at the top of the headstock, so you've got a three-a-side headstock a la Gibson, then generally you do what Gibson do, which is have it across so that when it's hanging on the wall you can read it. If it's a six in line, then it's generally the Fender style, which is uh, readable when it's in playing position. But that's nothing necessarily to do with how it looks. Uh, it's just that's what fits better on those headstocks. 
But what about the fretboard inlay? What's the orientation of that? Generally as you're playing it. Okay, which means yours is based from hanging. Yeah, but that's again, I just wanted the biggest possible version of this. So, there we okay. go. Super chat from Godi the Roadie. No ma'am. Does membership cross over to the extras channel? Hi Tilipa, did you get my message last night? I did, it's done. Fantastic, yes. So the Crimson Guitars Extras channel now has, basically you'll need to cancel your membership on the main channel and rejoin up on the on the Extras channel. One of the biggest perks of the membership is that you get the, the, the colours behind your names and you're able to use the various stickers and tattoo stuff and all that jazz during chat and all live streams, apart from really, 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 really big ones will be done on the extra channel now so yeah i would suggest move over if i were you yeah initially we only when you start a membership scheme you only get a limited number of emojis so on the main channel we have about eight and on the extras it's gone back down to four or five but as people cross over you'll get more emojis and bear and i are okay. constantly Thinking up new ones to design and add, and okay. go from there. Whew. And we constantly need to bring, give more content. Anyway, super chat from Kurt Emi, E-M-I-G-H. Mm. Sitting here working on my first seven string build. Cool. Thanks for all the inspiration and knowledge you've provided me for the last few years. That's an absolute pleasure. Thank you very, very, very much. Um, yeah, I need a smaller chisel. Yeah, I, I, I love what I do. I love that I get to do what I do. And uh, uh, it's just made better by the fact that uh, there are people building guitars because I've, you know, convinced them that they can. And... Uh, Frankly, if I can do it, pretty much anybody can. Strider Hellrider would like to know how much that little router setup could cost. Uh, uh, not that much. Now, this is an old Proxon base, um, which I'm not sure if they still do anymore. I, uh, we have a base unit at Crimson and I'm not sure what, Talitha, could you look it up and see? I think the new router base is actually set up on Crimson. Uh, it's, it's, inex it's relatively inexpensive and your, the Dremel, uh, there are various different levels of Dremel, but uh, I think you should be able to set yourself up for under a hundred quid, probably significantly under, significantly under a hundred quid. Um, okay, so I've got the little inside curves here. I need an inside ground gouge to do that. I think this is probably... There's now so much vintage tool stuff on that website, I can't find... Yeah, I'm thinking about taking that off. And doing what? Well, just leaving the Vintage Tool Shop as its own website. Okay. So all that work. All that work that I did, it's fine. I think that just went in my soup. Oh dear. Tasty. Yeah, I can't find it. OK, could you send uh, Tom or Sam a question? Basically, that base is going to be going live very soon. Beth McKellar. Beth. 
says, I'm parap okay, after you put the propeller on the mini router mm -hmm. and described it as going thwack, 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 <laughs> she said, I was looking forward to the thwack, 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 and we only got silence. I, I'm sorry, it was a... <laughs> My apologies. I, I've got absolutely nothing funny or clever to say to that. Um. <laughs> so she got lots of lols after that. Eric Jewell says, key takeaways from this build, thwap and chippy. <laughs> and there were lots of questions when I arrived if I brought you chips. <laughs> yeah. Super chat from Daniel Schultz. Daniel. Messed up my first ever neck, brackets, no surprise. Yeah, me too. Any advice on making a neck for the body that's already been built and bridge holes drilled? Uh, I mean, there shouldn't be any difference between what you did before, assuming it's a, um, assuming it's a, Basically, use your template. It depends on how you messed it up, but you should just use the templates or plans, etc., that you had before, and just do it. Uh, just, just do it better this time. But yeah, you should have all of those measurements, etc., already in place. Uh, I suppose the question is, what what went wrong? And if you don't have templates, templates or plans pre-drawn then that's potentially what went wrong. Okay, so my issue here is that I've gone and I've made something that's far too tight. So I've gone around with the, uh, with the scalpel and I've cut to exactly that line. And can you see how it's going down in the middle? And it's not actually let, left enough room for the inlay itself to go in. Question from Matthew Denny. All right. Sorry if you've already mentioned this, but are you going to re-radius the fretboard after inlaying to give the aluminium the same radius? Uh, no, I'm going to radius the aluminium to match the fretboard. I'm being very gentle here because uh, this wood here is weak and I don't particularly want to stab myself in the stomach either. Definitely not health and safety. We're getting there. <laughs> Ian Bonjour, spelled E-A-N. I forgot for a second that I was watching at one and a half speed to catch up and was impressed slash terrified at how fast he was routing that cavity. <laughs> Super Ben. Oh, interesting question from Terry as a super chat. Okay. Future stream for beginners. You have a shed, a bench of sorts. What are the first 10 tools you need to buy to start guitar building? Okay, so I've already... Um, if, Talitha, if you could find out what it is, I have already done a video entitled something along the lines of, you know, 15 tools that you have to have or 10 tools you have to have, etc. Um, so... So yeah, check that out. All right, 
So I've now got it fitting very nice. It's just not quite deep enough. So I'm going to crack on with the router again and reduce it down. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to have to file away more of this than I can because of how delicate the, um, <sighs> plasticky stuff is. Now Dave T says, hi Ben, hi everyone, are we there yet? Hey, no, not at all. Um, I don't know how this went wrong. Talitha, can you re-cook? Fine. Yes, as long as it's not uh, low oven for a decent amount of time. You don't want it too hot or it'll singe. Go black. I know what the word singe means. And bubble. I was destroyed in the elephant. It had a really char grilled ear, poor thing. Okay. <sighs> Alrighty. Fine. Okay. Look, I do not cut corners. Do not cut corners. Just don't even think about cutting corners. I wish I could follow that immediately by me saying I'm going to cut a corner. <laughs> uh, okay. This is, this is not right. The thing moved and it's not ideal. So I'm going to uh, remove the yellow section. Hell, I could actually probably redo the entire thing. But uh, let's take the yellow bit out. And I'm going to find... Doesn't that look cool? I'm going to recook this because it needs to be right. <laughs> so here you can see where that piece has gone sideways. It's not ideal. Um, now option number one is I just take all of these pieces out because that's moved a little bit. Those are down a little bit or I take this section out install that there but you can see where you can see where those are now too far away so I'm just going to restart with this and uh, it sucks a little bit but uh, what can we do would it be better probably to choose which side is going to be the top put the FIMO in and then press the tiny pieces into the FIMO where they should be probably let's do that Now, uh, did Tanya take the baking tray back with her? Yeah, I gave it back to her. Would you mind uh, bringing it back down? And if you could turn the top oven on as well. Sure. Uh, thank you very much. Terry Love says, Ben's middle name is Baldrick. He has a cunning plan. 
Ah, uh, okay, cool. Or I can go do it. Okay. Eat your soup. You've, I'm, I'm, I'm stuffed. I shouldn't have had that built on. Move! Gosh darn it. She's like glacial, which is uh, fine, but at this stage I'm no longer relaxed. <sighs> okay, so yeah, I'm just going to take this apart. Oh wow. <laughs> Look at these things. They're just popping out. There we go. Okay. And here we go on with uh, the second, second try. Now, I want to use super glue. I want to use super glue. And then I'm going to file the super glue away. No, I can't do that. I can't. <sighs> Most annoying. But the end result is going to be absolutely uh, better than it's it has to it has to be we have to do this whole thing justice so uh, so there we go now Talitha is obviously struggling So we put everything back in place, we're going to do the same, same exact thing again. James. Are you still up for servicing and setting up my Hofner base? Yes. We were discussing it months ago. I remember. Still welcome to have a stall at my Beatles event in May. Um, May is going to be problematic for us. May is close. May is Maker Central. Among other things. Uh... Do 
No, pushing it in, as you said, as you suggested, Talitha, would just push everything else out of the way. Uh, it needs to be. It needs to be done the way that I did it before. Just, I need to be absolutely certain before it goes in the oven that it's correct. I must not have checked it properly. Um, or it moved. As it cooks, it goes very, very soft. Okay. Well, that was the thing. So, in that case, I need to keep. I need to have the layer of masking tape. Okay, done. So, the masking tape is going to be on the bottom and it's going to be cooked with masking tape. Like, and that's fine. So, here we go. Masking tape sticky side up. There we go. And in order to keep everything from going sideways while I'm working on it, tape it down. JM Streams says, when I sent the super chat earlier, that bottom yellow section that is parallel with the frets is what I referred to, not the center line of the inlay on the center of the wood. So, JM Streams. Watch out for the horizontal yellow line in the inlay being nearer the 12th fret. It almost looked as though the fret would go into the yellow section. Basically, it, it, it doesn't necessarily mat matter where it goes. Um, essentially, the, the design has to be right. I don't care where the fret goes. Um, as long as it's as long as the design itself is all centered and and, and correct that's the uh, that is the issue yeah so it's, it's absolutely making certain that these pieces are all proper and then are going to stay where I bloody well want them to. Super chat from JS Trucking and Guitars. Hey, hey. Well, I'm stuck with another night in this darn hotel. Oh, man. Can't do any building. All of my tools and supplies are in the truck, which is in the shop. Oh, t I'd forgotten, so of course. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, mate. He also sent another super chat to say the current inlay actually looks like Skeletor. <laughs> what? Um, okay. And a super chat from Stefan Abuzade. I know in one of the live streams you mentioned having a lefty guitar that never sold. Maybe do a charity raffle to get it off your hands. Um, yeah, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. The uh, yeah, the issue I have is. That there's so few left-handed players it's the exact same reason why we're struggling with getting rid of the, the guitar in the first place it's because nobody bids on left-handed guitars because nobody plays left-handed guitars uh, so it wouldn't actually necessarily make very much money in any case because nobody basically nobody wants them but if you put it up for a raffle people might like two percent of the guitarists are left-handed so two percent of the people who would care to enter into a raffle would enter the raffle it, it would it would it's it's the reason why we struggle with left-handed guitars it's it's this just doesn't work um yeah Super chat from PS Guardian, which might be too late. 
carve the lower half into a plate so it's one piece so and then press the FIMO into the carving so he didn't want you to remove the whole the FIMO from the first stage yeah I, I considered that but uh, Talitha talking about burning worried me <laughs> sorry that's fine I don't know let's just throw it In the end, this is a learning process. I'm learning, you're learning, we're all learning, it's cool. So that's now pretty much set. Uh, yeah. Okay, at this stage, I'm gonna to have to go up to the house and wash my hands because I've got aluminum covered hands. Again, I don't wanna make this yellow dirty. No. Um, and the blue gloves uh, were dyeing the yellow blue while I was uh, doing it earlier. Yeah, interestingly, there's certain plastics that this stuff just eats. Yay, okay. Like you have to leave it in the, leave it on a piece of plastic for a long time, but it, yeah, it does disintegrate it. That's uh, problematic. <coughs> I'll be back down in a second. Uh, if you have questions for Talitha, uh, question away. Please don't make my computer yellow. It came off. You're right, Matt, if Ben does need baby wipes in the shed or an outside tap. Hey, guts personified. <laughs> Sabotage time. Um, I don't think so. He's not going to be up there for very long. <laughs> Jamie Krotkreimer. Replace the yellow with green and see if he notices. Um... There's only two colours I've seen so far. I think he bought these specially for this project. does need a bigger shade. Uh, Lisa, <clears throat> Ben mentioned that I sculpted. Where can we see some more of your stuff? I did have an Instagram account that was mostly my cakes and things. I haven't updated it for a very long time. Um, and I haven't had time to sculpt for quite a while. But I'd love to get it up and running again. <laughs> Terry Love, you're right. No matter how big the shade is, he'd still need a bigger shade. It's like that saying, you can never have enough tools, you're always, what's the equation? Tools, quantity, plus 
one. Happy birthdays. Okay. Yeah. I'm back. I'm no longer quite so disappointed with myself. We'll get there. Seriously, don't make my computer yellow, young child. Green. Oh, for fuck's sake. Go wash your hands. <laughs> I'm not joking. Go wash your it's hands. I. Can I mute everybody and tell my sister off? Or will you tell her off for me? Don't touch my computer. Go wash your hands. You're such a spoil sport. But look, I made you green, so now you can get I it I right. will stab you in the face. Jeez. I won't. I'm nice. Did you guys see the expression on his face when he said that? <laughs> what was that in front of a thousand people? Um, 913. Close enough. Are you going to go and wash your hands? Look at the, the, the quality of people I have to work with. Absolutely. Yeah. Just... Amateurs. Ugh. Her hands are covered in this, this stainy stuff. Ah, anyway, we're there. Um, I'm going to have to go and wash my hands as well in a minute. Look at this. Oh, no, hold on. Wrong camera. Three. There we go. So, we're back. We're back and we're playing with FIMO again. I thought this was an excellent idea. At this stage, I would rather have just cut the trident, uh, the opposite of what I've done here in, in uh, aluminium and inlaid that. The extra routing would have actually saved me time. But uh, here it is. What can you do? The masking tape is not doing its job properly. Not at all. This needs to be glued down to a substrate in order to stay solid. Okay, that's got mass, uh, ebony on it now. I saved that so I knew where my horizon is. Oh, you clever girl. Thank you very much. That's what you pay me for. I pay you for your scintillating personality and incredible editing skills. You spend more time with me on a screen than in person. This is true. Um, so in other words, it's your editing skills. This is the beautiful thing. So. People often ask uh, how we ended up like this, Talitha, but uh, essentially you've been editing and making movies and editing and creating and... Almost longer than you've been building guitars. Pr pr uh, almost longer? Pretty much longer. You started media... In college while you were still in a band. While I was still thinking I was going to be a musician, yeah. Lisa says you pay her. <laughs> oh, 
Hi, Lisa. <laughs> I've just had a really good idea. I should stop paying her. Yeah, I'm going to Canada. No, so Talitha, Talitha is a professional and has, has always been a professional um, editor, filmmaker. Um, this is what she does. And it just so happens that I ended up being a YouTuber in need of somebody with her skills. And, you know, it, it worked, it just worked out. Um, it's quite funny how perfect it is. Oftentimes when family work together, the implication is that it's ah, nepotism or, or whatever, you know what I mean? Well, it's just, okay, you can have, you can have this job because you're my sister or, or my brother or whatever, and it's nothing to do with skill. It's, it's the other way around. I... So you wouldn't spend any time with me otherwise? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> okay, so I've pushed as much as I can in there. I'm going to cut the excess away in a second. Talitha was very clever and brought a, a cloth down for me to wash my hands to get the yellow off. Um, it's a lot of yellow. It's insane. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of this stuff. I would much rather... Oh, I love it. I noticed. You can't keep your hands off it. I know. Strider Hellriders, and I think it's a bit too late now for his comment. Okay. Then why not just use a block of wood or something, press a chunk straight down into it, it will fill just perfectly that way. Do you mean anchor the aluminium into a piece of wood so that it doesn't move? This is the problem. These pieces are all just very, very, very... Tiny. Tiny. And any pressure on them is moving them. But Even it's cool. with the masking tape. Masking tape's not doing anything. It needs to be glued down. You could do that because you're going to... Put it in the oven in which I feed myself. I feed myself in the oven. <laughs> Yeah. No, we don't, we don't want super glue fumes in the oven, really. You can... It's such a small amount that you can use a hot air gun. You're absolutely sure I can do that? It takes longer than an oven, but yes. Mm. No, I, we'll, we'll use the oven. It's fine. Question is why you didn't use... Uh, coloured epoxy or resin? Uh, because I couldn't find quickly enough a the the colours basically mm. all the all the tinted epoxies that I had seen just didn't weren't as vibrant. I wasn't even going to do anything with colour at all until I happened to be in a, a hobby craft shop. Um, and uh, and I saw the FIMO and they just had the right colours. Mm. Um, I had gone to uh, a, a local woodworking shop, uh, looked at all of their resins and all that sort of stuff, a couple of art shops, and nobody had anything that would, that would do. So... So here we are. Here we are. Playing with FIMO on my YouTube channel. Not something I ever thought would happen. It's streamers who that's all they do. I know. And they're more successful than I am. Mad Max says, and if you had the time, if you have a CNC machine, could you not mill the entire piece out of a single chunk of aluminium and then it's solid and you just Yes, absolutely. Now that's not the sort of thing that I do. Um, it's just not the sort of thing that I do. On, I, I tend to do these things by hand uh, on the channel. So super chat from Disco Stew, and there's two super chats from Disco Stew. Saying, hey Team Crimson, hey, hey. not been here most of the day, joined when Ben routed the fretboard, but I lost the audio. Can we have a recap of today's progress? 
And Good then point. he sent another super chat saying, cheers, the chat updated me. But it <laughs> is about time for a recap. Uh, yeah, in about 10 minutes. But uh, yes, absolutely. So looking at this, we've got uh, pretty much, well, it is where I want it to be. So I'm just wondering about, I'm wondering about sticking this to another piece of metal, or will having that much more FIMO on the back keep it nice and solid? That should hold it in place. That but should I hold. would cook it with the masking tape on it. Yeah, I'm not going to take the masking tape off. So let's just... Yeah, it'll have to be cooked for longer since you're making it thicker. But that can't hurt it. Okay, well it said half an hour is the, uh, is the thing. It doesn't say anything about... due to size. But... Uh, oh, it is... That's just the instructions. Yeah, well the thinner it is, the less time it needs. Okay. Uh, and the metal is also a heat conductor, so... It absolutely is. So, so let's have a let's have a look at this. <laughs> Disco stew, another super chat, and this might be interesting. In the interest of a plan B, maybe make a large rectangle flag in those colours, which can be baked, shaped, and inlaid if the trident fail fails again. So on the same baking sheet, just have a flat section of blue and yellow. That is clever. And if anything, if, if a chunk comes out while you're sanding it down, you can replace it with a ready baked piece. There's also questions as to if the FIMO will be too soft for a fretboard inlay. Um, so that is the other thing. I don't like using resin because uh, it does tend to be a little bit softer. Uh, so I'm just going to burnish. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, but in this case, it's very thin lines, and that would be that should be that will be fine. Yeah, I think longer in a slightly lower oven is better. Okay, well, uh, as a result of that, and only that, and for no other reason at all, this guitar is not going to get finished today. <laughs> Which is really, really depressing because I really want to gosh darn finish the dang thing. I said gosh darn and gosh darn and dang in the same sentence there. You should be impressed. <laughs> You're so redneck. Uh, speaking of, Mark Jennings says, Yo. do we have a date for day three of the build yet? Monday, next week, uh, extras channel. Now, at that, so the problem with that is that by that point the guitar will be finished. The, the raffle will be finished. But uh, still, it is what it is. <sighs> so speaking of the extras channel, um, Gody the Roadie sent a super chat to say, now a member on both channels, problem solved. Uh, yeah, but... And someone else said, you don't have to cancel your membership on the main channel, you can just... Um, this is true, you don't have to, but uh, I mean, you're paying double for, for half, which isn't ideal. Um, and while I do appreciate the support, it's, it's not necessary. Hold on for one second while I tell my child off. Um, who looks really, really unhappy. Do not let anybody know anything personal about yourself. Have you been in a fight? What's that mark down your face? Stuff from science. Stuff from science. Did you set fire to your science classroom? No. The kids still dream of setting their school on fire? Someone touched a piece of ash and wiped it all over my face. Okay. You should have set him on fire. Um, okay. Where did the ash come from? Hold on. I'm uh, yellow. Someone shot me on the bus and knocked me in. So both my arms were like that and I got stuck. And now both my arms are really hurting. 
Okay, well, you need to uh, not ask me to parent oh, no. in front of a thousand people <laughs> because that's really difficult to do. Was there an adult on the bus? No. Okay. The kids drive the bus? No, it was only going on the bus. Okay, the well, go and, go and play on the new Xbox and get that downloading. I will talk to you in a second. Uh, finally, after about a year after I promised them, we I saw a uh, the Xbox One X finally available um, and nabbed it. So there we go. Um, fine. I'm just going to. It's probably going to be a bad idea. There's a good idea in the chat. Tell me what the good idea is, please, because I'm struggling today. If this fails, take the baked blue and yellow, grind it into a powder, <laughs> and use clear epoxy or super glue. This doesn't uh, powderize, it's, it's, it's plastic. It could be powdered. No. If you sound it. No. It doesn't, it tends to a yucky mess. Anyway, look, I'm, we're experimenting with something that uh, that I haven't played with before in this in this manner. It's essentially plastic, and you know how I feel about plastic. Um, it is the colours we want, but if this doesn't work, then quite frankly, we can move on to something else. Um, we, I can do some further research into. Uh, into resins potentially or even forget that entirely we'll just uh... okay so everything went uh, the Atom Mini decided to shut off there and has caused an issue so I now need to just double check that we're still live Okay, it appears to be live again. Hello, everybody. Uh, Super glue with my dyes work. That's ANSI W. Thank you very much. Now, just in the background, I need to restore a setting on the uh, on the Atom Mini. Okay, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's all good. Okay, fantastic, we're all live. Hey Lisa Zircon, Dirty Hell Rider. Strider. Uh, uh, Strider Hell Rider, there we go, etc. Um, Graham B, take a breath. It will be what it will be. Um, okay, now while we're doing that, and just out of interest, do you know what the issue is? A distinct a lack of coffee. Uh, I have actually only had... I'm about to die of caffeination withdrawal. Um, okay. Now, out of interest, I have not used clear super glue and uh, and our dyes so while that is off cooking I'm going to try and find a piece of metal that I've uh, cut an inlay out of and we'll have a bit of a play So this is a uh, uh, 
flower that I cut a long time ago. So, this has gone from being a guitar building tutorial to us all learning together, just the way it should be. Okay, now there's a, a saw cut in that side. I don't want the super glue to go through. Let's move that. Talitha, are your fingers yellow again? No. Just checking. I know you've got a bit of a problem. Uh, I okay. wouldn't call you a problem, that's just mean. Talitha, we should have said, I wouldn't call you little. Sheesh. She's just... Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> I've got some gold grain enhancing filler and I've got some sapphire grain enhancing filler. That's super good. Well, that wasn't what the original test was going to be, but... Make it sparkly. Well... <coughs> but the gold will be the wrong shade. Yeah. Amber, read some super chats blue, blue faff. yellow. Is faff a word in this country? I know you're faff. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Okay, so we've got some yellow. Uh, and answer, ask me questions, and it doesn't just have to be super chats, Talitha. Um, if you see an interesting question come through, just <laughs> give me the question. Richard Pribbenow says, OK, you two, don't make me turn this car around. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> uh, apparently, faff is a word, Matt Lang says. And Thomas Moon says, I thought faff was from this country. I wasn't sure if it was uh, British or, uh, um, or from Zimbabwe, to be honest. OK, so I've got some yellow stain here. Uh, I've got some super glue. I've got PPE. I can't believe you guys didn't tell me to put PPE on. Do you have a container to mix it in? I'm going to be mixing it on a piece of aluminium because I can't find my little mixing container thing. And there's a helicopter doing something outside. <sighs> Matt Lang says try rolling two sheets of FIMO, cook it, and cut it out for a super chat. And there are. There is a bit of just blue and yellow on the baking sheet. Yes. So, just in case. Yeah. Cody the roadie says goggles, but he spelled it googles. A good point. So this is thick super glue. So there we go. Let's go to camera three, shall we? You need a toothpick or something to mix it. <laughs> this, see, this isn't going to be the right colour, in my opinion. It's going to be transparent yellow, right? Yeah, this is the thing, but uh, anyway. Fine. Okay, so grab yourself a tube. This is a, a steel tube. Stick it in, hold over the end, and drop. I used to do that to colour my fonder yeah. for baking. Okay, that's making the super glue cure immediately. So that didn't work, it now looks like an earbud. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in fact it, it, it looks... It works. Yeah, even yeah. worse. Uh, okay, so that didn't work. Uh, I think it depends on the super glue. Um, no, okay. Project number one. No, I don't have any children here. Uh, okay, that, that failed. And that was with 
That was with water-based. Yeah, P.S. Guardian says water cures. Super of course it does. I'm not thinking straight. I just picked the yellow stain. I don't think I have yellow in the spirit. Do you have the yellow concentrate? Yes, but that's also water-based. Yeah, but it's so concentrated you use a smaller amount. All right, try again. This is fun. Is this fun? Nope. Nope. And we are cured. It's water based. That's even worse in your way. Yep. Something along those lines. Uh, Honestly, my favourite thought at this point, really and truly, is to use gold and sapphire. Um, well, no, my favourite thought is that what's in the oven will work perfectly fine. That's the plan. Uh, but as an experiment, I'm going to see... Because this is a, a particularly gorgeous gold uh, grain enhancing filler that we sell at Crimson and I should be able to, I could even potentially bulk it up a little bit. <laughs> if I can open it up. Yarg. That has 100% sealed itself shut because I'm an idiot. Look at that, so easy. Good thing I had two. Um. So that's gold. So, oh, Thunderman. Gold and sapphire? You can't go mixing Pokemon generations like that. <laughs> Phantom Exploration suggests it's turmeric powder with super glue, I'm assuming. That could work. Yeah, so this is uh, where this is messy and not professional at all. Not even close. Yeah. I mean, that's quite pretty, but it's not doing what I wanted to do. Isn't that cool? Anyway, it's not worked. I'm assuming Tony's back now. Tanya will be back and talking with Orson, so that's a, that's a good one. Okay. Look. The only option to, to get the colours is the Fimo. Um, at least with what we've got available to us now. What about for mixing, you want the opaqueness. What about... You don't have standard wood glue. I don't have standard wood glue. I've got. 
the noodles are standard wood glue. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, the white, the white glue you use to glue the fretboard on makes stunning stains into that. How long would that take to? Forever. Okay. Um, and wouldn't it doesn't dry? Would it dry hard enough? No. Anyway, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Uh, no, we don't have an option here that would do it uh, quickly and easily. Uh, I should probably have bought plastic sheet and just chopped it out. Uh, but it is it is what it is. So Talitha, give me questions and queries and comments and uh, let's see what people are saying. Uh, FFS976 says, I love that we've gone from one day guitar to one day inlay. Yeah, I don't. Can you tell how stressed I am? I'm, I don't like people to say, oh, I'm stressed, etc. all the time. But uh, at this point, I'm not having fun, which sucks because I generally have fun when I'm doing this alone. It's supposed to go swimmingly every time I touch a tool. <laughs> Terry Love says, how about getting some kitchen counter formica offcuts in yellow and blue? Yep. Formica, sorry. Uh, yep, that woodwork. Emphasis on the woodwork. Uh, uh, why can't you stain fine sawdust and seal that with super glue? <sighs> that I hadn't considered that I hadn't considered. Essentially when you stain wood glue you when you stain dust sorry it all goes much darker you, you won't get the same vibrancy of color as we're trying to go for and I don't think that I don't think that this is worth doing unless you've got that bright yellow and a bright blue it just it just isn't won't be right. What time did that go in Talitha? It's okay I've got a timer. Okay, fantastic. 16 minutes left. Okay. Um, carry on. Super chat from Sean Durkin. And Sean. there's many other super chats. Okay. For all the crap we give Bun for time estimation, I give him props for finishing guitars within days where it takes me like a year to build one. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I do have all the toys. I have all the toys. Um, he says tripping over one of them. What did I I just tripped over my job. Okay. <clears throat> Ken Zacharias, super chat from Canada. Hey Ben, what's the status of the acoustic travel guitar kit? Really needed a project to work on while watching the live stream. Ah, that is a very good point. Everything's sort of ground to a halt because I stopped building the damn thing. Uh, well, at least I haven't actually checked up on it uh, in recent times so I need to do that I will uh, check up on it uh, drop us an email I'm assuming you uh, pre-ordered one uh, drop an email through to office at crimsonguitars.com uh, ask for an ETA and say Ben needs to talk to you about it during your Tuesday meeting <laughs> and because uh, I want an update and I'd forgotten to ask recently now what I'm doing I've got is my your test. Mic okay? Probably not, if people are asking me about it. Wow, it's been on mute for like the whole time. There we go. It doesn't this is why we've got multiple microphones here. Uh, this is the Crimson logo test that I did last night. And at the very least, this is going on the guitar. So I need to get that out of there. Somehow. Without breaking it. It's fine. We're good. Um, these clamps that I just put back up on the wall, let's take one of them down. And Hi. Talitha is going to ask me super chats while I uh, do this. You said you've got a bunch of super chats. Yeah, I do, but look, still people saying batteries, check your batteries. Oh. Are you sure? Because. Uh, We've already done that. No, I'm fine. I'm okay. all good. Unless you've changed my audio on there. Nope, nothing's nope. changed. 
but we're good. Okay, some, no, no, people are saying Mike is fine. Okay. Uh, go to the road, he says, stain a piece of maple, blue and yellow, and then inlay it. Again, with the vibrancy of colour, um, it's just never quite as vibrant as, as you would like, as I would like, at least for this particular um, thing. I think the blue could be, but yellow is always turns into more of an amber colour. Um, it just it just is what it is. Uh, Fukumi says daily head tattoo plushy reminder super chat. <laughs> uh, you're talking to the right Talitha. Talitha. <laughs> Where do you get plushies made? China. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> Gerbutt, G E R B U T T, Super Chat wants to know do you know anyone who does ukulele building courses? Us. Yeah, drop us a line. There's uh, a uh, basically we can teach you how to make anything that is tangentially related to guitar building. Ukulele is a very very closely related. It's it's not a problem. So drop us an email. Uh, I'm sure there might. I'm sure there are people who specialise in that, but uh, I don't know anybody off the top of my. Head. JS Trucking Super Chat to say Ben was slightly off about the memberships. We don't need to cancel this one to join extras. No, no I'd... <laughs> I know you've already covered it, but I'm yeah. making sure that I haven't missed anyone out. Okay, no, I, I do appreciate that. You, you can have two memberships going, that's not a problem. Uh, it just means that uh, you're paying twice as much for the same amount of extra content and unless you really want to support the channel in that way in which case i'm not going to say no because uh, while i'm stupid i'm not that stupid um yeah it's uh, i appreciate your support there we go uh, majestic cpr says could you make a banjo is that in relation to the course or do you want ben to make a banjo uh, either banjo, I would probably get a banjo kit, which must be a thing. Um, I recommend figuring out which is the back and using something sharp to poke it forwards. Yeah, it's coming. Okay. But uh, I will. I will listen to you, my sister. Super chat from Zach Ellison to say, Snickers break. Are there any powdered dyes or natural spice seasonings in the no, kitchen? No, 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 no. Where's the Snickers? Oh, Zach didn't send you any. <sighs> and I didn't bring any. I brought you built on. That's fair enough. Sorry. Are there any powdered dyes or natural spice seasonings in the kitchen that would cause the super glue to become the colors you need i've never successfully dyed super glue myself and i have no idea what would create the blue color well blue food coloring That's about the only option no this uh I, I knew last week when, when I started seriously considering whether we could even do blue um, that it was going to cause trouble and here we are with trouble well and truly having been caused. Well it is my little name. Darth Traveller says you could always do the melted crayon and epoxy over trick. <sighs> I so desperately want to build a guitar like that. But uh, um, that is a very, 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 very good idea. Mm. 
And JS Dragon Super Chat saying, I agree with Matt Lang. You could have glued pieces of blue and yellow construction paper under the aluminium and then flooded the cavity with clear epoxy. I don't. Okay, so yes. That would have worked. And you're all right and I'm wrong. Um, old Ibanez, there was a particular Ibanez that used uh, construction paper underneath. It might have actually been resin. I was told it was Perspex, but uh, yeah. Anyway, we have got a tiny little crimson off camera, uh, yellow and blue logo. Uh, made out of FIMO, that's absolutely fine and ready to be inlaid. So uh, let's do that quickly. Just for fun, shall we? Uh, Talitha, mm -hmm. how's our timer doing? Seven and a half minutes. Seven and a half minutes. Okay. <sighs> so, cramp the guitar down. Now I've got this extra piece here. I just want to sand it to, just to see what it looks like. See if it makes dust. Well, it will make dust, but the dust is not going to be blue and yellow. It's going to be muddy, sh muddy muddiness. If you sand one side and then the other. Still going to turn it into mud, trust me. It's it's plastic. Plastic does not work like wood. Gareth Price says glue boost is a super glue with colour mixing tints that would have worked. Now that is a good point, and we have actually had some glue boost in the in the past that might might have been available to me. Zach Ellison super chat to say Jamie Court Kramer said he has had good luck with mica powder and super glue. Yes. property. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I've got mica powder here. I don't think I've got blue. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have gold. But uh, but again, uh, we'll... Oh my god, there's yellow dust. Quick, hide the evidence! <laughs> Did that really turn... Guys, I am so off my game today. I am, however, ready and willing to admit that my system was right. Say it. Really annoying. Right. My system was right. <laughs> Shoot. And this goes too. So see, it does work. <laughs> nice one, B. Yeah, it works. Okay, cool. I'll shut up. Uh, Okay, it's a one-piece neck. It looks cool. It doesn't need to have a veneer on the front. We're not doing a nine-day build. Not by a long shot. I have got the negative here, which I could use to potentially mark out where I want to cut, because this is a little bit flexible. It is. It's too delicate. It's a little bit too delicate. Now, there is there is a trick that some people use, which is to spray it with paint to leave the negative. I, I don't like doing that. This is relatively close grained. You have to sand the whole thing off before you then inlay the, um, 
piece. I think that that's actually probably the best way to do this, which is weird. What do you think? It's a little bit flexible. So normally I would uh, hold the inlay in place and then carefully mark around it. You see how it's moving? <laughs> Just everywhere. Use the negative. The negative would make my cuts far too small. No, I'm going to use the negative. Super chat from Mark Dennehy. Has anyone suggested running to the house to see if Mrs. Ben has Windsor and Newton alcohol inks to mix with the super glue? I think I took those home. Talitha has all my alcohol links because I gave them to her, so they're hers now. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't know that that worked. That's cool. A super chat from Adam Lee, but with no message. Thank you very much. Okay, I think. Check the spacing of the tuners from Robert R. Yeah, this is the problem. I need to put this in place. Then use masking tape, which is basically my favorite tool of all time, apparently. <laughs> Mr. Waffles. Hi, diddy ho, Lutherinos. <laughs> Sorry, I kicked the camera, people. He was giving me lip. Rich Lee says, put ink on the back, put it in place. When you lift it up, the ink will show the outline. Why are you clever people watching my channel? I, I mean, you get ink on your fingers, but hey. Well, no, the the, the problem is actually placing it. I, I think I'm actually at a position now where I know where I need to be. But uh, yeah, that's my next try if this doesn't work. Adam Lee says, I'm sure I've seen companies that do materials for custom scratch plates. If you, if it comes to a third Monday, maybe see if they have blue and yellow sheets. Yeah, how oh, you poopy poop, poop, pooperson. You okay? I'm going up to check the other. I'm fine. Yeah, it just moved. Because I'm silly. This is the stage where I also stab myself in the finger, just for fun. No, this is not working, this is just moving. This has not been the most successful stream of my career. Not by a long shot. I apologize.
There we go. That's marked out. Another 15 minutes. Is Tanya, Tanya back? I didn't see her. Okay. Uh, did you see if Orson was okay? I heard him talking to someone, I'm assuming he's playing Xbox. Okay, yeah, he'll be on his, he'll be talking to his friend. Uh, right, that's fine. So at this stage, we've got that marked out now. And uh, I need to uh, re, I need to go over the lines again with the scalpel and see what happens. So Sergio Pedro, this community rocks. And Strider Hell Riders, seriously, it's been quite good fun and enjoyable for us. And I'm not saying that sarcastically. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I, I apologise because this stream has not gone according to plan. Uh, not by a long shot. And, uh, and I'm getting all emotional. Super chat from Terry Love to say, I'm back again. I had to change rooms as the chair was killing my back. Is it done yet? Yeah, absolutely done. Completely finished. Um, sounds like Tanya's back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, super chat from Alan. I'm not going to butcher your surname. I apologize. Draw a center line on the template. It's a bit late, I'm assuming. Uh, yes, it's a bit late. I did consider doing that with masking tape. Um, but uh, I lost track of myself. JS Trucking, you emotional? Never. I'm going to take that to mean that I uh, lose control of myself on a regular basis during live streams. And uh, you'd be right, I actually have on several occasions. Throwing your toys out the car. I have. Selena Russell sent a super chat to say, talking of glues, what about glue gun glue? They come in all different colours. Do they? Seriously? Google. Okay, so the grain is going down that way. Let's clamp this down again. Um, okay, turns out that I really enjoy building guitars when it goes well. Who knew? Uh, this is a little one millimeter chisel. And uh, essentially, at least with straight lines, it's fairly straightforward to just cut out between the lines. Huh. They do come in all the colours. Seriously? And they're really bright. Can we get them in the UK? Amazon. Seriously? $9.99 for a 24 pack of oh. all the colours of the rainbow. Huh. Well... You learn something new every day. I never. Uh, could you put that in my Amazon basket, please? Uh, yeah, you'll have to check it's the correct dimensions for whatever glue gun you have. I have about five. Okay. Not that I've ever used them in a guitar, I don't think. This is locked into you. Yep. Ooh, Matt Lang. If anyone Googles dying superglue, there's a terrifying slash hilarious story from the sun about a man using superglue instead of a condom. Eek. What? Uh uh. And yes, I have set a timer on the oven. I did it for a further 15 minutes and there's 10 minutes remaining and I'm going to go up and get it. Yeah, if you could... 
You could go up and let Tony know that we've uh, gone again, actually, just in case she wonders why the oven's on. Okay. Uh, I would appreciate it mostly. Thank you very much. You want tea, coffee? I would love a coffee, if you wouldn't mind asking Tony to make it. Ah. Not that I don't trust your coffee no. making skills, it's just that I don't trust your coffee making skills. Okay, now I could have used a, a Dremel to cut this out, but it's not, it's not necessary. And uh, yeah, I just felt like doing it this way. And I can also talk to you while I'm doing it. Oh, you poopy poop McPooperson. Fine, let's get the Dremel out. I had forgotten how chippy this wood is. Okay, so that should be invisible once uh, once everything's sanded down. But yes, okay, I'm going to find the Dremel. Maybe. There it is. Okay, and I need to change the collet and change to a, a smaller, uh, smaller bit. Poop. Oh. Hey, uh, stay there, because otherwise you'll be on the camera and you get into trouble. Byron, you're not actually supposed to be in here at all. At all at all. Hi, how are you? Happy? Is this a live stream? This is a live stream and you're not allowed on live streams. Okay. Um, you've had a good day though, yes? Yeah, and also, it's not you. I know, unfortunately I'm on a live stream. Uh, you, can, you can pause it for a second. Uh, it's a little bit more problematic than that. Okay, out you go. That was my seven-year-old. Are you seven? Yes. You sure? Really seven. Yes. Well, wow. touching yeah. something you shouldn't touch. I'm not mine. I'm seven. Yours is very loud. Yeah. Oh, very, very. Up to the house. Up to the house, Byron. <laughs> so, yeah. Router bits. Okay. Ooh. So. Byron, oh. workshops are not places to run around and play. Okay, so I've got a 0.6 millimeter bit here, and uh, which is certainly fine enough. Oh, and the collet size is actually correct. So that's that's ideal. Uh, <laughs> Talitha. Daniel L. Byron seems so polite. Is he polite? I mean, he's pretty wonderful, except when I'm doing a live stream and I'm not capable of controlling or even watching what they're up to. Mm. This is the one problem with having the workshop at home, is that uh, children are, uh, they have minds of their own. Who thinks? Spend all this time teaching them to think for themselves and then they don't do what they're told. Gosh darn it. I've got to a point where, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I talk to them like adults all the time and they tend to talk to me like adults. And uh, when they want something, for example, and I disagree, I've taught them to, I've taught them that they can argue as long as they come up with a cogent and intelligent reason and I will change my mind if they give me a good enough reason to change my mind but if I say no like I've had to say 
you know, if I say no after two different arguments, then that's it, finished. No more arguments. Because they'll just keep on coming back. How about if I do X, Y, Z? Or etc. Shows they're thinking about it. Well, that's the thing. Teach them to think and... Gosh darn, they're going to do it. Damn it. I know, right? Uh, Talitha, I'm afraid you're going to have to ask him to... <laughs> no, fine. Just shut the door, please. Um, he's playing on the trampoline, which is cool. I can't ask him to get off the trampoline, can I? Okay. Goggles, for sure. Goggles, for sure. Uh, and I need to put a little... Uh... Did you throw this across the workshop? No. No, there was one hanging up there, which must have happened. Okay, so I'm going to put a little uh, bit of paper, a masking tape on the on the router cutter here, and we'll go. Does that look like it's stayed? Yeah, just a quick super chat from Terry Love saying, can I hear a fire engine approaching the kitchen? And no, I've taken it out the oven now. So this has taken it out. We're good. Okay, I'm turning my microphone off while the dremel's going, and I'm just going to wrap this out. He says, just. I hope it's going to go well. Tanya, my love. How's it going? I'm not too bad. Have you spoken to our son, the firstest one? I have. Okay. And I told his sister off for not helping. Oh, his sister should have beaten up the bully. Uh, no, she should have... He was trapped on the... That's he couldn't get off the floor. So I gave her that I'm very disappointed in you speech. Oh, I'm not angry, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. You went there. I went there. Um, she left him trapped. Your hand was on screen. So what, was he wedged between how two seats or something? I thought how he... <laughs> I, I'm not even you're sure not how you do you're that. You're not supposed to be laughing. I'm not even sure out. how you do that, but he got stuck. Anyway, he's had a couple of brownies, so he'll be all right. No, you're not guessing anything. That wounded look. The wounded look. <laughs> I just made you coffee. You did just make me. Um, thank you very much. I'm actually flagging like majorly. Okay, so what's here you go. The, what's the plan then? Well, that, that was good. That's come out of the test yesterday. We had to somehow, when it liquidized, the first one, one of the pieces moved. Uh, three of the pieces moved actually. It just wasn't great. So that is now sitting there, hopefully doing its thing. Uh, if it doesn't work, then I'm just going to take all of the blue and yellow out and fill it with black super glue and ebony dust or something like that it'll still look impressive and i've seen them sort of look gold um on the, uh, some, yeah yeah or or like if so you could use a we, we would we some would, dust powder some nice yeah powder. i do have mica powder somewhere yeah you could do because i've got a lot of things in this tiny gold. tiny workshop yeah um yeah by the way there's going to be a workshop extension sometime in the very near future is that why it's so tidy out there? Yep. <laughs> You're building it, by the way, Slipper. Um, oh, great. So, yeah, it, it's it, it's all good. Um, so, the, do you want to swap with Talitha? Well, yes, What's if we can do dinner, if we can, if I can go back up at six to feed people. Yes, I'm not, well, it's nearly... 
We'll do swapsies yeah. for a bit. Yeah, perfect. It's nearly the end of my day. <laughs> She's worn out. Um, Talitha. Hold on, Tony. Would you mind getting out of shot? Because this could be an okay. interesting expression. Yeah. Okay. Quizzical expression. All right, Talitha. Then. Can you please look into the new Apple Studio system? Now? Or? No. Have you not? Even, don't you even know that this thing exists? No. Oh my gosh. You know something, Apple. You hate Apple. I really do, but uh, okay, so essentially, uh, McKinnon's done a whole thing about it. Peter McKinnon, check it out. It's a box about this big, and it's an intensely powerful editing rig. Um, they're a couple of grand. It's also intensely transportable. Ooh. And what I'm thinking of doing, I'm stuck, I can't stop doing this. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is, uh, as part of the extension here, I'm obviously building an office office -y area for all of this to happen and uh, we can hook it up so that I've got a screen or two for when I'm working down here or doing live streams and so things. So you want me editing from your house? Maybe once or twice a week because you could then also do a lot of social media stuff and we could work together but you were supposed to get all excited about me even considering getting one of these things because you've been talking about an upgrade and that would be one hell of an upgrade and they're not actually that expensive. I mean they're bloody expensive but they're yeah. not. It's, yeah, I'm and it's uh, 4K, 8K um, editing, etc. Well, we need to start doing that. My mic, my audio is off. Dad, damn it, because I was doing this. Anyway, um, sorry guys for that digression. I was hoping for a really oh my god man, uh, expression, and, I, and you just don't I, react like that. No, because I can plan my week and think I've got everything organized on Monday. And then you change it by midday Then I throw something Tuesday. at you. Oh, I got you in the nose, sorry. Um, yeah, well, you know what's happening this weekend there, don't you? Okay, look, um, just before Talitha goes, we're going to do a, a quick recap. I think Tony's just shot up to the house. Uh, I'm doing an inlay in the headstock, uh, blue and yellow in Fimo that came out of the experiments yesterday. The other inlay uh, is curing. Leave it, leave it, leave it while it's still cold. It's cold. It's okay. like one slightly out of position, but it's fine. Okay, that's ever so slightly out. That should be fine. Okay, so this is the uh, uh, this is the twelfth fret inlay coming together, and uh, that will be inlaid in soon. We've got about an hour, hour and a half or so of uh, the live stream to go, and obviously I'm not going to finish this guitar today because I suck. Um, now this whole thing is being done for charity we are raffling the guitar off and uh, after the 10 percent raffle fees uh, all of that money is going to the british red cross ukraine appeal and the same thing is happening with the super chats uh, after youtube's fees uh, which is about th which is 30 percent so uh, to be honest go to the raffle site buy raffle tickets if you want to support or actually just donate directly uh, obviously the thing with the raffle is you might end up winning the guitar. Now, uh, last week the Super Chat generated 2,770 odd pounds uh, worth of uh, money that is going to be donated to the British Red Cross Ukraine Appeal. Uh, today, so far, the Super Chat is sitting at... £707.58. £707.58. So I'm not going to do that maths. That minus 30% is what, what's actually going to happen. And the raffle, the total raffle is mind blowing. This is turning, this is the most expensive guitar. This is, this guitar is going for more money than any other guitar I've made in my life. Uh, and it is currently sitting at? 11,892 pounds 50p. This is fantastic. So go buy raffle tickets and uh, I would appreciate that very, very much. Now, I've got two inlays to do, then frets, then carving the neck. The body is made, routed, partially, F-hold, top glued on, sanded. I need to do the pickups and the neck pocket, and then that's pretty much most of the way there. I also have to drink some more coffee and say goodbye to Talitha. Goodbye, Talitha. Can you say hello to Aunt Sherry and Aunt Kathy? They're in the chat. Aunt Sherry, Aunt Kathy, hello. 
And it's so weird with actual people that I actually know that actually are people. All of the rest of you are just sort of amorphous figures of your imagination. Yeah, not quite real yet. <laughs> um, but anyway. Um, there you go. That worked. Good. <laughs> yes. Have you talked about your plans for next weekend? This weekend? The weekend? Ah, yes. Okay. So essentially on Saturday and potentially Sunday, we're asking for volunteers who want to come and help us lay floors, paint walls, and essentially make the Crimson Guitars headquarters much cooler than it currently is. There is a potential TV show. Uh, I'm not going to say any more about who it's with or or, or whatever. And they're not going to be there that Saturday. And they're not going to be there that Saturday. We're going to be filming. We have got to... There is going to be a documentary crew. But not this weekend. No, there is going to be a documentary crew this weekend filming us getting ready, as well as other stuff with drones and all sorts of stuff, just for shits and giggles. But we're not going to giggle and shit, I tell you. Uh, I couldn't avoid it. I can't. I can't. That statement just has to be followed through. Not on the agenda. It's Byron. Okay, there we go. Um, <laughs> Basically, Crimson Headquarters looks like a half-baked pile of rubbish because it's half-baked and not where we want it to be. Uh, we're building my dream studio there and we now need to do that with some rapidity. Uh, and uh, we're asking for 10 or 15 volunteers who are interested in coming down and helping to get in touch with Talitha either at guild at crimsonguitars.com or via the Instagram messages. And we're also looking for local graffiti artists who have uh, the weekend free. Now, the problem is most graffiti artists have weekends booked because that's when they're going to do this thing. But not necessarily but, uh, just graffiti. Anyone who's, you know, murals. Murals. Cool stuff. Get in touch with us. Yeah. Anyway, um, I need to get on with this build. So, Talitha, I'll say goodbye. And goodbye. There's one new super chat at the bottom and that's everything up to it. Okay. Are you... So, help yourself to what you want in the house. Just Thanks. move that man around. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to be providing beer and pizzas and uh, and fun, and uh, it's going to be a cool, a cool day. Uh, Saturday for sure, and maybe Sunday. But uh, yeah, if anybody's interested and relatively local, yeah. uh, give us a chance. I'd much appreciate it. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just finish routing this out quickly. Put my microphone on silent. Slurp some coffee. Do you need this? No, I'm done. Thank you very much, Talitha. I appreciate your help. Your help. camera. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well. My bad. Did you pick your nose? I'll do it now. Right. <laughs> I did pull my, pull my trousers up. I'm in trouble now guys. Send help. Well, there we go. The cat's out of the bag now. That's it done. <laughs> Who told you? <laughs> well, it's all coming in now. This is the... This is the... Um... <laughs> the problem with it being a bit of a delay. I'm honestly not quite on top of my game today. They're being very kind, so I guess it's okay.
ready. So this is actually relatively pliable, which is amazing. Look at that. So yeah, I'll be able to actually just uh, quickly knock that in for the most part. I think there's a little bit of an issue here. and make that a bit sharper there. Has your mic, has your mic gone off? Sorry, I had it uh, turned off. You turned off. So you'll notice that I didn't go full depth with the cutter first time. I actually had the, the router base at a slight angle and then I went down uh, by doing it that way rather than using uh, the fiddly mechanisms because I didn't want to be fiddly with mechanisms and stuff. Okay, ready for a couple of super chats? I need to formally apologise for putting you on camera. Oh, we're just going to gloss over it. Everybody's been very kind. I shouldn't be so silly about... Well, if people weren't silly then we wouldn't have YouTube channels <laughs> like mine, so... <laughs> Okay. Okay, yeah, Super Chats. Yeah, here we go. Sir Tavenham? Sir Tavenham. Uh, it says, Ben, Hi. is there an adhesive that could attach a thin flexible ribbon synthesizer controller to the edge of my fretboard semi-permanently without damaging the finish or leaving a lot of residue? Thanks. Huh. I would suggest probably hot glue gun. That would peel off, wouldn't it, mostly? Hot glue gun yeah, glue. Did you know that you would, can get hot glue gun glue would the in different colours? Heat affect the finish? Uh, probably. The heat of it, yeah. Run a test. Run a test inside of a cavity. That would be my initial thought. The other one is silicon glue, which goes on cold, which would probably do the thing and should just peel off. Uh, and then the other option is the masking tape and super glue trick, which should also work quite nicely, uh, I think. So um, here we go with this inlay. Now, the issue that we've got is, well, I'm going to use super glue. I'm going to use super glue to glue it in. But I don't want the super glue to uh, flood through the grain and then make it so that the finish won't stick. Now I'm not going to be using stain on this, so that's not actually too much of an issue because oil will just make it look like the super glue. Normally, if I was going to be staining and doing this into maple, I would flood the cavity with shellac first to seal to seal it and then I would put the glue in and the inlay. At this stage, having taught myself around, I'm just gonna flood it with super glue and, uh, and go. Goggles. One does not want super glue in one's eyes. I mean, you might. It could be quite amusing TV, but not, yeah, you actually as well, because I've got you on camera today. <laughs> We're fine. Okay. Okay. Little, little hammer. Glue. So this is the super th the thick cyanoacrylate that we currently sell at Crimson. I'm tempted to give that glue boost stuff a, a try as well, actually. There we go. Ooh, actually, come to think of it, I don't know how this is going to react to super glue. I'm just assuming it's going to be fine, so it might set it off immediately. Okay. 
Okay, let's move the camera. That's interesting. It's not melting. It's not setting it off. It just is gluing itself. Woohoo. Ha! Ah, phew! I know what I'm doing. Honest. Uh, all right. Um, I'm not going to hit that with accelerator because I don't know how the accelerator is going to react. So we'll just let leave that to do its thing. And uh, you guys got you got some questions for me. Okay. Well, this was a super chat from Paul Twenty Three Fits. Hey man. This is no it's message, been a while. dude. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Uh, he says moving his finger off the edge of the thing that he was chiseling towards. I'm not normally that silly. I'm really not actually thinking straight today. I, I'm not entirely sure why. Next time Talitha's on on uh, on the show, ask her about her carving mishaps. Uh, okay, so this. This inlay is about, actually that's okay, I can, I can do that. Uh, we're gonna carve off the excess. I'm really happy with how that looks. That's, that's cool. Ah, okay. All right, camera three. I wonder if I can just push against that. Fine, fine. I need a I need a bench hook and I don't know where my bench hooks are. So this is the excess that we just left on the back just to uh, help support everything. Now I don't want to take too much off at a time because that might pull sections of aluminium out from the bottom. So yeah, I'm just, just gently Pairing away. Do you have any questions or comments? Yeah, okay. Um, uh, Paul Cook was asking if shellac oh. is semi adhesive for nuts, would it be adhesive enough for the inlay? No. Uh, no. I think it, it, it might be but it isn't a glue and I wouldn't trust it not to pop out over time. Uh, Leon has the million dollar question. Is Bun going to finish the guitar today? Uh, nope, absolutely <laughs> not. The, 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 the real question is, is he even going to finish it next week? Uh, we have a question here. Have you ever anodized aluminium inlays? Uh, okay, very good question. I have not anodized aluminium inlays. Uh, I have anodized a lot of aluminium. Uh, I can't even remember why I was doing it. It must have been tool making or experiments with tools and things. But uh, yeah, I have not anodized aluminium inlays. It is absolutely something that can, could, could be done. You would need to radius the inlay uh, perfectly to the radius of the fretboard so it's anodized before it goes in because the anodizing only goes down, say, three or four microns. Uh, it's not particularly deep. So as you sand the inlay down to match the radius of your fretboard, you go through the anodizing. 
essentially, uh, and unless I am much mistaken. Okay, making some progress here. So this fine mesh stuff is an interesting way of getting a lot of colors and it does appear to be, it does appear to be working. It is, when all is said and done, plastic. And uh, you know how I feel about plastic. I tend to avoid it where possible. But uh, oh, it's also some pretty cool colors. Tanya, you didn't re uh, you didn't react sufficiently amazed when I told you that you could get hot glue gun sticks in multiple different colors. Um, Somewhat disappointed. One of our chats told us about yeah, it just now. I'm, I'm trying to think. What would you use that for? Exactly what I'm doing right now. <laughs> It would to, be perfect. Like a, so like a res, like it's a resin. Essentially, yeah. I mean, the, the thing is, I'm sure it's softer when it's cured than even the FIMO is. But uh, I don't know, it could be interesting. I wonder if I could build a guitar just literally just using that as the entire material from which the guitar is built. From such stupid questions are ill-conceived projects born. Okay, a few more questions here if you want them. Absolutely. Uh, Phil Ronan, I decided to have a crack at building a cigar box guitar. Cool. was just wondering what the advantages are of having a separate fretboard as opposed to hammering frets directly into the neck. Uh, there are no advantages well, there's a little bit of a strength advantage, uh, for sure, but it's not a major one. And um, yeah, with a cigar box guitar, it's it's not absolutely essential, in my opinion. Um, with a with a guitar, with a real guitar, you have <sighs> you have a truss rod and all of that. But uh, even Fender. Uh, used to put truss rods in from the back and have one piece necks with you know a maple neck maple fretboard so it's yeah it's fine <sighs> so even after all that it's slightly off and uh, uh, not as spot on as I would have liked I'm going to try and figure out which is the best side and uh, we'll go from there. I do. Uh, Flossy PHP. I know I'm showing my ignorance, but didn't you say you were going to do more sanding on the headstock? Is putting the inlay in not making this harder? Uh, the inlay, uh, it's not ignorance at all, and there is no such thing as a stupid question. I have just proven that I don't even know how to do what I was planning on doing today, so you, you, you've got nothing on me right now. Um, Okay, that's the front. Byron, is it's incapable for him to be quiet. Absolutely, just not a chance whatsoever. Um, summer holidays are going to be hell for live streams, I tell you. <sighs> yes, I am going to have to sand some stuff down. It'll be fine. The inlay is quite deep, so it's going to be relatively um, relatively fine work. And uh, it's, it's not a huge amount of sanding, so we'll be okay. Uh, that's cured now, which is cool. Question from the big unit. How was your lecture? Mm, we'll ask him. Uh, lunch break, just a question. <laughs> if this goes on to day three, yes. will you be making the donation sooner than completion? And will the raffle still end when scheduled? Um, I'm trying to put this in the wrong place. Uh, the raffle will still end. I cannot change the end date of the raffle. So the raffle will be ending on Saturday, and that just is what it is. Um, now, I 
Okay. Hmm. I obviously lost track of my uh, of my thoughts there. Uh, the date that the donations will be being made is once the raffle is finished, whoever wins the raffle has to uh, has to basically click a button saying, "Okay, I've won. I've won the raffle," um, and that then frees. I've. Well, they're actually lying, really, and saying I've received the guitar and it's all good. Thank you very much. You can release the money. Um, now, once that button is, is pushed, it's up to the winner to push that button and they can do it while I'm still building the guitar and release the money and then I can send the funds off straight away or they wait until the guitar has arrived and then push that button. Obviously, we would all prefer them to do it sooner, but you know, we don't have any control over, over that. <sighs> now, the Super Chat revenue um, has far exceeded. Initially, I said that I would personally cover the Super Chat revenue because Google pays towards the end of the month. So at this stage, all of the money that's being donated now only gets to me in, well, almost exactly four weeks' time. Uh, now, so there's an answer in there somewhere. Essentially, there's not going to the I can't. The super chat money is going to be a month, and will then be donated as soon as Google have paid me. And the raffle money, it's up to the winner. It could be within a day or two of the raffle finishing, or I might have to finish the guitar first. We'll just have to see. But I will keep you guys uh, informed. Isn't that pretty? Uh, I will keep you guys in the loop. And uh, when the donations are being made, I will... Um, I'm not going to live screen shot me donating money from my bank account to anything. Because that would involve showing my bank account details. I will be screen grabbing the uh, donation thing and and, and yeah, uh, I, did, I I donated just... directly and I had an email confirmation. So there we go. So we'll we'll we'll, we'll do that sort of thing, um, or I'll uh, I'll have Talitha. There we go. We'll, I'll probably have Talitha sitting there filming, and we'll do an Instagram thing. And uh, when I'm actually putting in uh, bank details and stuff, it'll be I'll make her look at my face or something. As hard as that uh, is for anybody. Okay. All of these things that I've never really thought about. Do, 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 do. That's looking at a clamp, not what I wanted to. Here we go. Okay, so that's that hole there. It's a little bit higher than, uh, than I want, but that's not too much of an issue. Uh, we can sand down, or or we can just go in and route properly. Let's just go in and route properly. Questions? Um, well, a uh, quick one. Uh, Dave King has sent a donation of two pounds without a comment. David, David, if you do have a comment, uh, leave it in the chat below. I'm not sure if you uh, meant to just donate or meant to leave a comment. And thank you for your support. And um, then go to eleven. Go to eleven. Go to eleven. Cool. Yeah. Uh, any update on when the new router base will be on the shop, please? <laughs> also, what options does it come with, like guide bush, etc.? And will you be selling Ellie any tiny cutters too, please? There's the damn router. Okay, fine. Okay, so the new router base comes with the metallic sections. It comes with a uh, a router base that has got the guide bush hard baked in and it will eventually be going with the right size cutters. Uh, now we've never had an issue getting these cutters before, ever, and of course the second we decide to try and buy some uh, to then retail on, they become unavailable for anybody in the world. Um, they're still on Amazon, so yeah, they'll be coming, they will be shipping, even if we have to pay full retail, they'll be shipping with the right size cutter. So if you've got the, if you've got the template that needs, for example, a 0.6 mil cutter to cut to the right size, then 
uh, you'll it'll ship with the right uh, sized cutter and probably more than one of them. Okay, so I'm just going to adjust this, lock that off. That is really, really deep. So really, no. What am I doing? So this router base that I'm working on has sort of seen its last days. There we go. Okay, I'm turning my microphone off, and uh, that is charged. Yeah. Goggles. That's the word. Okay, so I didn't want to go all the way right up to the edge, so I'm doing a cut to cut, whereby you mark in from the top with your scalpel blade, and then you go in from the side with a chisel, and just get rid of the uh, get rid of the rest of the uh, of the waste. The router base really has had enough; it seems to have cut more on one side than on the other, but uh, that shouldn't be an issue. I'm going to flood it with thick super glue and it'll all become nice and solid in the end. All right. Well, there was a question about the, the base home uh, from Martinus. Okay. Uh, how does the Proxon Dremel router mount compare to the Dremel official one? And did you have to rom uh, modify it to accommodate the Dremel? Uh, no, they're pretty much, uh, they, they're both. It works fine. They are interchangeable and compatible. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, although this one really has... Uh, it's had a little bit of use. More than a little bit of use. Uh, super chat from Godie the Roadie. He's pointing out a comment because Owen Kelly can't do super chats, okay. but is offering to get a discount on the Mac Studio. Ooh, <laughs> yes please. 
What should be the next course of action? Uh, if, he, if he could drop us an email through to guild at crimsonguitars.com, uh, that would be absolutely awesome because, uh, um, yeah, that really would be awesome. My thought is essentially that Talitha could work out of here for a day or two of the week. So while I'm filming, she could be sitting editing. Uh, the biggest issue we've got is the whole the whole editing part of building this YouTube channel is done off site and I I say what I want, but we don't generally talk until the end of the process when it's pretty much finished. Whereas if Talitha's doing some work out of here, uh, we'd be able to collaborate more on the actual edits as well, which could be fun. And, uh, or, and Talitha can also be doing various social media shots and things. So we time it and say, all right, on, on this day and this day, I'm always going to be filming out of headquarters. You'll be editing and uh, taking photos of social media and all that. <sighs> Thus growing the Instagram game, etc. Glenn Talbot is asking how do, do do they donate who can't find the button on their phone? So it's in the is it, is it the little dollar sign in the when you want to chat, is that? Yeah. It says if I hold my cursor over it says show your support for Crimson Guitars. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure what it's like on a phone to be honest. Um Tony, if you've got your phone, why don't you search for the uh, Crimson Guitars I'm just for this? seeing if the, um, here we go, somebody... Oh, somebody else is going to so answer it, because... Somebody said about the... Yeah, Paul, Paul Cook has replied. Um, okay, a super chat from Ed Bond. Ed. He says, how high is your ceiling in the workshop? Not high enough. Any issues? Yeah. I'm just about to build one and have a height restriction of 2.1 meters. Oh, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, so, Tanya, on your right, there's a um, a drawer unit that says measuring and tapes. Measuring and tapes. Um, if you wouldn't mind passing me the tape measure. The tape measure, yeah. See, just to confuse matters, I've uh, put the um, my electrical tape, etc., in the same drawer as the measuring tapes. Just, yeah. So this, in the corner here, is 187 centimetres, and it's not quite high enough. That there is 195 above my head. I'm sorry, I was on the complete wrong camera there. Um, so here is 197 or so, which is fine. Two metres, two metres ten will be fine. Um, bear in mind, that's with me putting in extra flooring. Now, I am seriously considering, we're building an extension to the workshop here, um, and uh, I'm seriously considering taking everything out of here, removing the floor, and digging down. I think it needs to be done. I also need to replace the floor itself. It's... <sighs> all over the place. <laughs> Uh, Paul Meese is asking, how close is that route to the top of the truss rod? Oh, no one, yeah. Um, the, <sighs> the fretboard is six millimetres or so thick, and then the truss rod is just below that. Uh, I'm only routing about three millimetres deep. 
at this stage. I'm nearly, nearly there though. And remember that uh, fairly soon it's going to be full of solid aluminium and super glue. So any strength that I'm taking away is going to be replaced. Super chat here from John Ella. John. I'm thoroughly enjoying the build. Thank you. It's for such a worthy cause. Just take as long as it needs. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem. I'm sure everybody expects it to take another couple of days. There we go. We're okay. The issue I've got is it pushes down the, the FIMO. Uh, yeah, a couple of days. I think maybe that's where my issue is. Okay, yeah, I I don't care anymore. I think that it's uh, it's going to be what it is. Ed Bond came back and says he's also thinking about digging down when he lays the slab. That, that's probably the best way to get around a height restriction if yeah. you've got the. Um, manpower to do that did i is that not what i didn't i say that did you say that oh, I, I i no i probably didn't i, I probably out. cheated off and zoned out myself <laughs> uh, yes i'm taking the floor out and i want to dig down a foot or two but uh, the thing is the new workshop that i've got is taller so uh, we could potentially move this section into the new section and then have this as office space where you're sitting down and the height isn't an issue my main issue is you can see a camera here uh, I need to have everything a little bit higher up so that I can have cameras and lights and things off camera and out of the way. Anyway, this is this is where we're at. It's a little bit proud, and that's and that's fine. So. Wilson's World 02 says put something on the back of the inlay to protect it from the pieces lifting. So something the, holding the whole thing together on the back. Yeah. So essentially I've the some of the resin is uh, is pushing down, just that section actually there. So uh, what I'm going to do, thank you very much for the thought, is just put a little bit of super glue in there. I'm just going to solidify that. Is this even on camera? Yes, it is. OK, cool. And this should stop it from popping out the back. And uh, yeah, there we go. Cut the excess off. thinking about it I'm going to just cut away some of that so that I'm gluing the aluminium down rather than just masking tape not that I think it's going to actually cause an issue but you never know Referee Rodriguez is suggesting using a 
a, like an offcut of the aluminium to gauge the routing cavity to avoid handling the delicate medallion so often. Uh, Are you sure it's the yeah. right size? You, oh, no, I'm sure it's the right size, absolutely. I'm 100% going for it. Now this is thick super glue. I'm wearing uh, goggles because I don't want this to spooge up into my eyes as I go because that would suck, especially if I close my eyes. And essentially So in the middle, it's just proud of the fretboard, which means I've got you know, three quarters of a millimetre or so to, uh, to sand off uh, in a bit. Now, just for safety's sake, so that's sup the... the <sighs> The yellow and blue Fimo has been super glued from the back to a substrate, so it's hopefully not going to lift. But I am going to grab, I'm going to hit my head on the ceiling. <laughs> I'm going to grab some super thin super glue and just flood any gaps in the Fimo. That's interesting, it makes the blue much more vibrant. So, uh, bonus. Maybe we will use that later. And I'm just going to leave that to do its thing for a second. Um, now, while that's sitting curing, I'm just going to tidy the workbench, take any questions that you have, and, uh, <clears throat> and then we're going to sand down or file down and cut down the logo inlay. I can't believe I've spent an entire day doing inlays. My gosh. Questions? Yep. Um, so Franz Trush has brought up um, hey. Colin Furs. Get Colin Furs involved with the digging. You might end up with an underground workshop. I would love, love, love to do anything that Colin wants me to do. And if it happened to involve ending up with a uh, another grand workshop. Sign me the hell up. He's cool. He's the only YouTuber I have ever watched, apart from Adam Savage, whose merch I would actually consider personally buying to wear on my... I would just... You know, the first mining company, just... It's so cool. He's having way too much fun, though. I think that's... It's... Colin or me? Yeah, Colin. no, Colin. Yeah, he's, just, yeah. he's just having way too much fun. It's not allowed for it. adults, is it? <laughs> yeah, well... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty... I'm rather enjoying myself quite a lot. Um, so this is the other piece that we did. It's a little bit flexible and poopy. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, no, I think... Yeah, okay, doch, let's move that. Yeah, I just walked sideways into the uh, edge of this clamp there. It's not a good place to put that one. It's a bit too big. Uh, yeah, questions? I'm just checking that's not my phone, huh? Might be. I'm not clicking anything. The off. Just leave this up there. Yeah. She might be burning the house down. Somebody's burning their dinner. Check out and check. Uh, you can have a look through the questions. We'll do that. You have a look back through the questions for a second if you're... Yeah, okay. And I'll just go check I just warn you that I'll put myself on camera. So...
All right now. Come on then. So we've got a thousand and five viewers. Takes as long as it needs. Go to the roadie. Colin Furs will probably be doing a better job of demoing your guitars. Ouch. True. I mean, yeah, he's into his punk and uh, uh, and that. <laughs> but anyway. Can I show what the Redwood Top is going to look like finished with NAFTA or something? Yes. Ben, are you Rick or Vivian from the Young Ones? Oof, I'm not going to answer that. Um, when tightening the truss rod, will the truss in they come loose? No. You guys vote. Vic? Sorry, Rick or Vivian? Do, 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 do. Oh, come on. Let's get the... Uh, uh, let's put some naphtha on this top. Uh, if I can find any lighter fluid. Where is that? Here we go. Because I agree, that is well worth looking at. Uh, all right, camera four. So that's what we're uh, gonna look like. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't want to put more on that just in case it reacts badly. I'm all good. Okay. Um, oh, the first comment was mean. The first comment was mean. Colin Furs would probably demo the guitar better than you, Ben. And as a result, my heart is broken. And, you know. Yeah. Shit. Nope, you weren't on camera anymore. Nope. The camera was pointed towards you, but uh, uh, it that wasn't. That camera's not on. No, it was, it was off. You apparently got a nice shot of your head. Damn it. I really do need to uh, sort my tattoos out. Uh, I, started the, uh, I started the process of getting this various cover-ups done and bits and pieces, and then uh, uh, COVID happened and uh, and it all went apart. A uh, comment here from Marson of the Nuclear Village. Hey Marson. I will be visiting slash working for you this weekend. Who should I contact um, to get help with finding a room for these two days? Thanks. You wonderful person. I'm very much looking forward to, um, to meeting you in person. Um, so drop an email through guild at crimsonguitars.com. Tell Talitha. Okay, this FIMO has, is it, um, it's become a little bit more crystalline due to the superglue, I think, just out of interest. Um, or maybe it is just the superglue on the side that's that's doing that. Uh, guild at crimsonguitars.com. Talk to Talitha. She needs to put you in touch with Julie. It's a little bit short notice, but uh, Julie finds the accommodation for all of our students and is a wonderful human being. Um, please... Uh, please tell Judy that I said I would cover the fee. Um, so Judy charges, I think, £20 a time to, to help students and people find. Uh, I, I will cover that for you. Um, okay, this is doing its thing. Donnie L says, you mentioned something about redwood being harder to hide the glue seam on. Yes. What did you do to combat that? Combat that? Uh, prayed. You prayed? Um, <laughs> it's, it's not... Essentially, in the past, I've used redwood and whatever glue I used, I think it was tight bond, the water content or one of the ingredients... Um, was it reacted with the it reacted with the wood and it 
in the same way that you have a, um, there he is, uh, in the same way when you are using vinegar and wildwood or something to uh, turn oak black, the tannins in the wood, etc., it had that sort of reaction. In this case, it, it didn't. So we're good. This cat wants in. He can't come in. He knows, he knows you're in here, Mrs. <laughs> Bunn. Okay, so. Let's get this in there done. Mark Jelling sent a super chat. Hey, man. He says, I love Julie. She always looks after me when I visit. Julie is incredible. Julie. Okay, so we've lost Mrs. Bunn. Project number one has called for some parental support. Uh, we are coming towards the end of the live stream. Uh, I think that uh, we've got another 20 minutes or so. Um, I would like to, I would like to file back the uh, 12th fret inlay and uh, see how that looks so that we've got some sense of completion. I very much like this um, I very much like this FIMO actually. It looks like I've got a few bubbles in the yellow here but actually as, a, as an inlay material it's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, I think those air bubbles are not air bubbles. I think that's where it has become a little bit crystallized and I'm cutting through with a relatively blunt chisel and pulling sections out, potentially. Not entirely sure, but I do like, I do like the look. Okay. Soft, let's get a get a file. You look at that and uh, once we're all done once the dust is gone and we've got a bit of finish on uh, and I'm not going to touch this with nafta it's going to be all um, let's get some water shall we That'll be what it looks like under oil. Uh, okay. Uh, super chat here from Zach Ellison. Zach. It says best to cover up tattoo artist is Mr. Ray's on YouTube. Shall I take a picture of? Yeah, please do. We'll find, have a look at some work. Essentially, the issue is that I've turned. It's I've got a crow 
on the top now that's starting to cover up a phoenix underneath, but I need to actually get some of the phoenix lasered off so that uh, the crow pops properly and life just went to crap. I want a sleeve, I want to get various bits and pieces done. So yeah, actually any, uh, any tattoo artists who uh, you guys would recommend, I'm uh, interested. Okay, at this stage I'm going to hit the 12th fret with some accelerator and uh, if it catches fire, well, you'll see it on camera. Here we go. Nothing happened. Woohoo. Lisa's suggesting you might may need a sealant on top of the FIMO. You put some super glue over the top. Is that all going to be sanded back off again? Is it? Uh, yeah, the super glue over the top. Um, the FIMO in the top will be sealed with uh, the guitar finishing oil. Although I could put, tell you what, I will, if I remember next week, uh, I will start with a coat of shellac and then go guitar finishing oil. Okay, so the 12th fret, that has now cured nicely. And I just need to... file it off. Nice bright colours here. Groove and Drum says you need room on one of your forearms for a don't cut corners tattoo. I love that idea. I I want to get always be learning. It's something I absolutely love. Sawdust, etc. What I would love to do is have I've got this freaking mug that has got a bunch of things that you need to know how to tie a knot, a slip knot, for example, how to spell various things, but a whole arm of tattoos of various guitar building bits of knowledge and lore. Um, I could have, um, for example, different, the, th the first three frets of various different scale lengths. So I can just go up like that and say, you know, like Adam Savage has got a ruler on his, on his forearm. Um, that could be fun. It could be a bit gimmicky. I might not want to build guitars in 10 years time. Who knows? But hey, um, don't cut corners is a very, is a truism. Okay, I'm going to file the corner off this inlay now. Beth McKellar is saying, Paul and I think you need, it is as it is. To remind me to stop saying it. I love how you two are watching and commenting. Um, and that means that both of you are watching on your own separate YouTubes at the moment. That's excellent. And Thomas Moon is saying Ben will turn into a music version of Memento. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I don't want this to get too hot. I don't know how that would react with the plastic. So I'm just going gently and carefully. I will say this now, if this yellow and blue gets pulled out during this process, I will dig it all out and just fill that with black. Jimmy chewy has got a good one, but a cheeky one. I like cheeky. Arm tattoo quote, day, infinity symbol <laughs> of a one day build. You'll see. I'll get you one day. Yeah, warming up a bit.
Okay. So getting a bit hot. Jerry Fizz V says do not forget the squirrel tattoo. Coffee beans. I don't know, I'm, I'm more likely to get um, you know some hand tools and bits and pieces like that. I've got various things that I like uh, that aren't necessarily guitar building, but um, yeah, we'll see. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time, so I need to just do it. Maybe. A, a I'm, I'm never really sure how to say this one. Ape song or AIP song? Ape song. Let's do say you, that. Yeah. Do you know the book, The Illustrated Man? by Ray Bradbury, uh, I think it's a great story of a tattooed man. I have heard of it. I have heard of that. Um. Hi. Oh, leave me alone. The Illustrated Man. Stephen Keane's asking you to move the chisel. <laughs> Which one? The plane, the one, you mean? The one hanging on the end, I think, maybe. Is it a file? Is it the oh, file? it's a file, yeah. There we go, I'll check that out uh, later. Okay, this is getting there. A little bit warm. Teddy the roadie sent a super chat saying toggle switch tattoo on and off. <laughs> Actually, honestly, a basic wiring diagram would be very, very useful to me. Volume tone, three way switch. Um, This started out as a bit of a joke, but I'm seriously considering it now. If you have questions, people, this is uh, this is the time to ask them. What do you uh, What do you want to know? I'm going to a slightly coarser file. This is a little bit more material removal than I thought I would be doing. Uh, Round Buster say tattoo of Adam Savage quote, which is one day builds always takes longer than one day. Yep. I think that's a universalism. Uh, he's worried about the one, uh, the, the, he's come back about the chisel, sorry. Um, Stephen Keane says, I meant the one in front of the neck that's almost touching while filing. Uh, oh, yeah, no, that's fine. He's worried you're going to 
and bash into it. No, it's it's uh, fairly low off, fairly low down. That's not an issue. Okay, Zach Ellison says, isn't your favourite guitar the 8 or 12 hour build? 12 hour, yeah. And he, said, and he says, my back tattoo is based on the illustrated man. Is it? I did hear the word help. He's in a... <laughs> He's falling backwards off a hammock, one of those hammock swing things, and stuck. Personally, I would have got the camera out, but, you know. Okay, um, yeah, I'll check out the Illustrated Man in a minute. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do at this stage is um, stop, really. Because, uh, yeah, this is, this is warming up and needs to be done over a slightly longer period of time, I suspect. Now, Tanya, do you have an issue doing a live stream on Friday? I would have to check the calendar. I, okay. I'm not sure. I'm just wondering about potentially finishing this before the auction uh, finishes. Yeah, that makes sense if we can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everybody, we will be... We will be doing another live stream this week on the Crimson Guitars Extras channel. Please uh, go and subscribe to that. Please follow our Instagram or YouTube posts and things like that uh, to see when it will happen. But uh, yeah, it'll be a great big experiment to see how many of you move over to the Extras channel to watch the next stage in the live stream. I do want to finish this guitar before the uh, before the raffle finishes, it just it just makes sense. Uh, so so yeah, amazing. This is the the first thing I've used my standing number two for pretty much ever <laughs> is as a heatsink. That sort of says I should probably sell the damn thing, yeah. Oh yeah, people people would like it if you raffled it off. <laughs> uh, super chat from Terry Love. It says there was a movie version of The Illustrated Man with Rod Steiger in 1969. Cool. Okay. Love an old movie. Well, if so many people uh, are interested uh, and fans of it, then uh, it's something that we should uh, definitely check out. Now, everybody, it is coming up on our... It's the end of hour seven, and... It has predominantly been spent doing inlays because, quite frankly, I suck. So we've got a 12th fret Ukraine trident. I've got a child just saying, ow, 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 in the background. I think he's playing. And uh, there's the Crimson logo also in blue and yellow. And uh, I'm really happy with how this turned out. It took a couple of goes in order to get this trident right but uh, yeah once it's all sanded down i think that's going to be absolutely awesome uh i we will be back on either thursday or friday this week probably friday to do another stream on the crimson guitars extras channel finishing hopefully everything um but uh, yeah i think that is that the body is most of the way there most of the way there yeah that stuff doesn't dissolve as much as fast as I thought it would uh, sand of the edge f holes done everything's done we've got to do some routing and some figuring out of the neck but essentially before I can get on with the body I need to finish the neck really 
So, so there we go. Uh, now, what I would like to do is say goodbye to you, Tanya. I will. I'll take the computer. You're going to do the last chats, yeah? and uh, yeah, I'll take the computer. I'll do another ten minutes of, of questions and chats, just like I do with the with the uh, uh, Luther's Question Time live stream. Yep. Uh, just for ten minutes to, to wind down, uh, and uh, yep. and then we'll go. Great. Okay. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for everything. And Have a great uh, week, everybody. Um, yeah, I think that. Uh, you are an integral part of the show, and I'm so sorry that I filmed you. <laughs> um, oh, no. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, right. Um, Alrighty. So, let's see, this is going to swap. Oh, there we go. So essentially, Talitha has been watching the kids while Tanya was down here, and Talitha was doing some um, some work in the background. So this means that, uh, well, one, I get to spend more time with Tanya, and uh, two, Talitha doesn't <laughs> lose too much of her uh, work time. So uh, questions, comments, uh, super chats, and uh, I'm going to check out the Mr. Ray's. Let's have a look. Uh, Bri W's coming with twenty pounds and said, "Good job today. Thank you very much. Uh, been good watching." My question: When removing my nut, the very, very thin wood covering the top of the truss rod came off too. Uh, six millimeter wide headstock. Okay, should I cover it with a thin veneer, or is it okay to leave? Um, thin wood covering the top of the truss rod came off too. Okay, so that should be something that is removable. In any case, I think you're talking about the truss rod cover, or are you talking about the veneer? Um, but yeah, it should be, if it's what I think it is, it should be something that comes off as par, par for the course. Uh, if you've knocked some veneer off, structurally that won't make any difference necessarily, if it's thin. Um, and I would just glue that back on with a little bit of super glue and, and be done. But uh, yeah. It's good. Uh, Terry Love is coming with another £50 super chat, bringing our total uh, super chat revenue to £840 uh, for, for Ukraine, for the British Red Cross Ukraine appeal. Um, thank you very much, Terry. He says, already subscribed to the Extras channel. I shall attempt to come and annoy you there. Uh, at this point, it's not annoying. I, I really do appreciate you. Um, Edwa, Edwa says, question about GGBO, about guitar with an aluminium body. I've already asked. It's laser cut, then I do all by hand. Which category would it be in? I can cut aluminium by hand if needed. Uh, if you are making the neck yourself, then it's a scratch build. I don't care how the body is made. I don't care if the body is made on CNC or laser cutter or extruded from the anuses of 5,000 golden orb spiders. Have you seen the dress made out of golden orb spider silk? It's amazing. Uh, if you make the neck by hand, then it's a scratch build. If a CNC or another company makes the neck, then it's essentially a kit build. <sighs> Disky Disky says, this has been the best two plus day build ever. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Keith Rich says, do we just turn up on Sunday? Um, please give us a shout. We do have a 10,000 square foot factory, but don't have unlimited space. If hundreds of people turn up, there won't be enough for anybody to do, and it would just turn into a horrific mess. So uh, um, if you could drop us an email to guild at Crimson Guitars, if you are interested, crimsonguitars.com, if you are interested in coming down and helping for a day or two on the weekend as we basically finish building my dream studio. Uh, we will be providing uh, beer and coffee and, and pizzas and stuff throughout the days and tea if that's required and uh, there'll be a bunch of filming done and stuff. It'll be it'll be good. Um, Lisa, thank you very much. I agree. She is very beautiful and should not be camera shy. Uh, Beth Michaela says you're fabulous. I'll tell her. I'll tell, I'm going to tell her all of these nice things. Ah, Stephen Keynes says, worth the time and effort on the Inez. It's going to be stunning. Thank you so much for doing this build. We'll watch all the streams that I'm able, whatever channel they're on. Thank you very much. Okay. 
Second note says, were you surprised by how much the 1959 sold for? I think it was about right, even though some examples sell for 50k plus more. I think that it was about right, given the condition. Uh, it had had a, a Bigsby trim at one point, and it had basically been very, very, very well played, and you know, refretted and, and all of that. The essential parts were there, were original and were fine, and it sounded amazing and felt amazing. Um, I think that they would have they would have been very disappointed to have gone for under a hundred grand. I assumed it would be about a hundred and fifty in the end, and uh, with auctioneer's fears, it was one hundred and sixty plus thousand pounds for a guitar. It's insane. Uh, I do know that it is going to be owned. It is has been bought by a musician, uh, not Bonamassa, I don't think, but a gigging. Uh, professional musicians, so it's going to be cool. Um, Disky Disky sent ten dollars and said, "Cheers, thank you very much." Um, okay, well there we go. I think that I'm really really happy with how this has turned out. Um, hold on, what did I just say? I've completely lost control of my mouse now. Da, 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 da. Nope. Okay, fine. I've completely lost it. Um, there we go. Questions, queries? Nope. We're finished. We're done. We're dusted. Okay, so a quick recap. We have raised 800, nearly £850 in Super Chat revenue after YouTube have taken their fee a bit, be a bit less. And as it currently stands, the raffle is sitting at a shade over 12000 pounds for this guitar if you want to support the british red cross ukraine appeal donate direct to them uh, if you would like to do is to support them while 10 percent of your money also unfortunately goes to the raffle uh, system then enter the raffle please and uh, you are in with a chance to to own and love this guitar and uh, there we go so we are currently sitting at a lot of money. I'm not going to do the maths right now. Uh, there is one more day coming up. Oh, there's a super chat from Godie the Roadie. Says, uh, have got around to seeing my MF kit build inspired BC Ridge Warlock paintwork. I said, have you got around to seeing my MF kit build inspired BC Ridge Warlock paintwork I sent to the stream email? No, I haven't. I checked the stream email on Saturday, I think, the last time. So uh, uh, I will check that this evening. Uh, there we go. Beast says, wait, I just got you. It's done? <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, no, there will be a third day. Here we go. I've been playing with inlays. And as it currently stands, we've got a 12th fret inlay with the trident in blue and yellow, and then a crimson logo that was sort of a uh, an afterthought. But hey, is what it is. <sighs> You guys are amazing. I really appreciate your support. And uh, we're doing some amazing things here um, together. I'm sorry this is taking more than two days, but uh, it's all good. Uh, I will see you for another one of these streams towards the end of this week on the Crimson Guitars Extras channel. Have a fantastic week. Goodbye.